Hey, okay, we're live. Woohoo. Hello. Uh, this is session 11 of Sundered Skies. Um, so, first things so first. Wasn't already? Holy shit. I know, yeah. right? Uh, Surprised we've made it this far. Crazy. Uh, yep. It's surprised Jen hasn't just killed the party by now. And now. <laughs> he tried to. I'm now, working on it. And now you're all dead. Thank Good game tonight, everybody. See you later. Uh, um, falls, nipples dies. Yep. Um, the shit took his, he took his pot off. Yeah, some, someone just unplugs the power and everyone dies. Uh, anyways, uh, I don't know. welcome to yeah session eleven. Uh, so unfortunately, Leaf could not join us tonight. They had internet issues and it sounds like they're having an overall rough day. So they decided they would take a a day to themselves, which is more than fine. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, everybody. I, I feel like I just ended an episode of like Jerry Springer or some shit. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so last time uh, you guys were making your way through the Razor Passage to get to Plenty. Um, and in that time, you encountered. Fuck, I, what, what did you encounter outside of the final fight? Can't believe I blank on everything. <laughs> There was the... You encountered the at least husk? one ship. Yeah. I forget what it's called exactly. Madness Hawk, maybe? Ma- Madness Hawk. Yeah, you encountered a Madness yeah. Hawk. I think you encountered that earlier, though, when you traveled, like, pre yeah, yeah, the yeah, Razor yeah. Hawk. Like, oh, yeah, because you, you were just in the Razor Passage. Last session, you you began your journey from Gateway to Plenty. So yes. you encountered mm-hmm. a Madness Hawk and had a riveting uh, little chase scene. Uh... Where you out chase them? We ran yeah. into a few sharks. ships, but only really fought one. You ran, you ran into a death barge and were able to get away before you really got into a chase. Yes. I remember now. Yes. Uh, and then you went to the Razor Passage. Um, you were in a um field of debris, and in that field of debris. God, no wonder I'm like confused about what's going on. I don't have all my shit open. Uh, help it. Yeah, session note. I have my session notes open. That'd probably be helpful, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I mean, debatable. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm master of debatable. Anyways, yeah. come on, y'all. Come on. <laughs> no, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I know you got it, but that's not, that's not the point. We understood. We just may not Dude. appreciate it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm too EP. God, goddamn bitch! Drink All right, anyways. Uh, yeah, you guys, coffee, you got, you guys entered like a debris field, and you had to decide whether you're gonna go around or through it. Decided to go through it, and you were still in it, uh, but you also got jumped by two denizens of the Razor Passage called Fog Sharks, and after a desperate battle, uh, you did defeat them, but we had left with. Um, poor Corbin. Uh, basically on. I don't think they're actually bleeding out, but they're on like the the edge of uh of dying because they got a big old chomp took out of them. Uh, so let me get us there. Let's see. It's on battle mode. Let's turn to party mode because the battle is over. Okay, party mode is just zooming us the fuck out. Oh, that's because you're kind of spread out. Makes sense. Uh, then I choose GM view. I'm going to delete this fog shark that you guys murdered. All right, first line of business. Corbin needs some help. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I kind of envisioned like what would happen is... Because um, I think Corbin got the killing blow on the shark. Mm-hmm. Is... um. The crow's nest is, like, totally destroyed because it got chomped by the fucking shark, right? So, like, he gets the killing blow on it, but then just pitches forward off of the court uh-huh. crow's nest to the deck of the ship. Fuck, I'll give you a binny just for that. Uh, uh okay. Can the bull catch Corbin? Yes, and he should, because it's gonna be bad for, <laughs> Cor- it's gonna be bad for Corbin if you don't. If if Nibble doesn't catch Garbon, um, Rogmesh is waiting down below. <laughs> okay, we're not we're not gonna do a two for one of you needs to be yeah, the, no, I get you. One of you needs I to be you. the assist. So I would say who has the better athletics? 
Uh, oh, I, thought I, got, I, I was thinking more of strength. Yeah, I have a six. I have a four, so probably so, you. Yeah, so Nibble should be Jeez. the support role. To, to Rogmesh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I liked. Token what's wrong? Lagging, I think. Something like that. If you're, you are, I, I am not clear on what is happening, Rogue. Please. Uh, I was trying to move my token, and um, it won't let me move anymore. Anyway, what did I need to roll, or was? Oh yeah, no, I feel, I, I see what you mean. Oh god, oh fuck, oh god, <laughs> what? <laughs> Also, it says we're still in combat, so maybe I just need a refresh. Okay, hold on. Before... Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. We. You're. Uh -huh. You're. I. My screen is going nuts because I tried moving your token. <laughs> you should probably end combat. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, like even on, shit, the, on the stream, it's also like shit, going nuts. It's going nuts, man. Like. <laughs> Yeah, because it, cause it's my view and shit's going nuts. Yeah. Oh, God. I, yeah, I got to refresh. Sorry, guys. I guess our game isn't starting exactly. I, you know, I was joking when I said we unplug and everyone dies, right? I was, I was, <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> that was not like for real. All right. So now, Nibble, uh, uh, roll me that motherfucking athletic check and as a reminder to our viewers uh you can spend 500 uh channel points to give any of the players a binny that's the meta currency that helps them like uh re-roll rolls take damp survive damage all kinds of stuff so it's and, pretty easy. and this is a athletic check is to help rock yes, yes this is a support check so the better your roll the, the more bonus they get uh they get no bonus Unless you want to Benny it. Unless you want to Benny it. Uh, I'm not going to Benny that. You're not? Okay. okay. All right. Flat, okay. Flat, flat, flat <laughs> roll, Rog. Uh, ready. Nibble Just helps flat. in the most neutral, non-helpful way possible. It's kind of like a child. Emotional support. Hey, look. He's hey, there. All right. Um, I, I'm like that guy that it. stands next to like the uh, cushion when someone falls. Just held, holding his hand. <laughs> 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 Oh, Dark's, Dark's pimping all over the world. Yeah, Dark's Everybody been, else got Dark's been in their fucking bank. Man. Oh. <laughs> the fancy like it, even if, even if, uh, Women and I, caviar. Uh, yeah, you if, do. Even if you're what? Do I get bennies even if I'm not in there yet? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Uh, give one to Korra. Rogue. I just give one to everyone. Thank you, Dark. Thank you, Dark. So, Corbin falls. I'll move Corbin just off to the side. Corbin falls into Rog's loving arms. <laughs> <laughs> and you are... Uh, as Corbin falls, there are drips of blood um, all over. Mm -hmm. Actually, hold on. As is tradition. As is tradition, yes. <laughs> don't taste blood. Don't taste blood. Don't taste blood. This this kind of looks like uh, Corbin was splat to the side, but I'm just representing <laughs> blood. Oh yeah, the fucking blood marker now. Blood has uh, the blood that's like kind of poured onto mm -hmm. the floor as well as is actually. You know what? I gotta do this too, because uh. Yeah. All right. Oh fuck! Finally, I'm in. Woo! Yay! Hello. Let me put Good. some. Let me put some of Corbin's blood on uh, Ragnarsh. Wait, why do I see potato stuff? Okay, that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that is that. That is a module for you to determine how good your computer is, and it will like adjust foundry setting to work better with your computer. Oh, okay. Well, based potato. on your recommendations. So, if you got a good yeah, potato, yeah. bad potato, whatever. Uh. Okay. Yep. You have. Corbin in your arms. Oh, I very gently lay him down on the floor. 
And then I look <coughs> at Coradil and go, come over here and help him, please. <laughs> uh, who is the person with first aid, like actual medicine versus healing? <laughs> that might be because that well, actually that has would... a time limit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, that... <laughs> well, you're within the. Well, I mean, this just happened from last session, so. Yeah, I know, but that one actually has a time limit, and I can do it. I spend more points, and it's anything. Right, but, I'm, know, but I'm saying, like, the time limit has just started. So right, I'm... right, but what Cora is saying is the person with the time limit should go first. So that way, if we have to go over the time limit, then Cora can go. I don't think anyone is here is trained in medicine. I don't have it. I can make it uns. Well, you're unconscious anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I guess what my confusion is like you don't have to spend more points unless the time limit has passed. Yeah, I know. I'm just yeah. Depending on how long it takes to do the actual physical stuff. Oh, gotcha. it's like yeah. it's like ten minutes. So everyone is. Unless a bunch of failures were rolled, every for now everyone is fine time wise. Um, and let's see. I don't see Giat having any healing skill. And I thought Gray huh. probably don't. Gray does not. Yep. Oh, you know what? I do. I forgot. I added that. Okay. <laughs> so Rock. Uh, so of Rock. course Corbin. Corbin is the worst off. We also have Rock with one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I was in the game, but then when I clicked on the potato, it is now loading to, I guess, do whatever the fuck the potato was going to have it do, and now right, I'm still not right. in the fucking game. Alright, just, just reload again. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on it, don't worry. Well, I mean, like, if, if, if it's loading, but then it doesn't do anything, you get, you just gotta... You just gotta. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, but like, um. Okay, I see your name. That's a good sign. I believe so. Uh, well, Rog, if you want to roll healing rolls. Yeah, uh. Sure. Let's see. Use your arrows to stitch together the borb. It blew up. I, I apparently that works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that was for Corbin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Healing uh, for Corbin. That heals one wound. Cool. Uh, can I just take away a wound without. I did. Oh, you did. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me. Let me check something because we—I don't think we've actually done na natural or our healing skill healing too much actually. Let me skills wrong skill section. Hindrance skills here we go. Heal. Uh, healing has multiple uses. Uh, see, okay. Uh, page 96 on mending and treating. It makes sense, but also I wish you were just holding it right there. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if there's like a, a limit, you know what I'm saying, outside of the, yeah. the time. Yeah. Each attempt requires 10 minutes per wound level of the patient. So... That first round was 30 minutes. Okay. Um Do you have a did you have, do we have like a first aid kit or like a similar supply? Uh, on you? Um not on me, no. Okay, it doesn't matter for that roll because it would not have changed anything, but you need to subtract one from this point forward. Okay. Um you can try again. Oh it no, will... I did. I did. Oh you I did? did? Sorry. Just now? Oh, yeah. you did, you're, you did, I have, I have, t yeah, I have two healer, I have healer kit, two healers kit. That, that's fine. Oh, that, that, yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, then you're, then you're good. You don't need to, you don't subtract yeah. any rolls. But that did take you thirty minutes to to do this again. Will it take you twenty minutes because they have two wounds? Yeah. Okay, 
So each one hit. Each one has five uses. I have two on me, so I could do another Healy again, unless you want to do the magic side of it. I would. I would. So here's here's the thing. If you happen to roll really well and get the rest, the two wounds off of Corbin, mm-hmm. you will have ten minutes left to get the one off Rock. Um. Gotcha. So I would, I would, I would, I would wait and see what happens with Corbin because Rock mm-hmm. might need. Yeah. You know, or both of them assistance. might need the, the assistance. Yeah. Like. Okay. What, gotcha. what might Rock need? Sorry, I'm trying so, to get the other uh, there, uh, Rogmesh is like bandaging up everybody. Okay. But uh, if you don't get your wounds healed within the hour, uh, only magical healing. And and not just normal magic healing. Uh, like Cora has to pump extra a lot. expensive magic healing. Yeah, God. like basically you have the golden hour, and then after your golden hour, your your wounds are pretty much permanent without either a long term care or b extra power. A greater healing is what the the thing is called. Um, uh, the spell. So yeah, yeah, and we just spent. Oh no, it's just regular thirty. Healing. It just costs. And yeah, but well, right, but that's but that's the that's the name of the um. Oh, what are they called? You're at your add points, modifiers, whatever. Oh, like, yeah, the modifier. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. <laughs> Big words. Uh, yeah. All right, go ahead. Roll that. Roll that. Uh, heal check. Thank you. No whammies. Ho- hopefully, you get a. Mm. Okay, well, that does remove unless you Benny. That does remove a wound from Corbin, but now you have ten minutes left for both of them, or the window is closed. <sighs> <laughs> Can I make an unskilled attempt on Rock? You can. One, do you have... Do you have a healer's kit on you? No. So it'll be minus three. Okay. So if you're, you're cool with it, yeah, go ahead. Can I, can I give him one of my healer's kits? Yeah, don't worry about, like, moving it from your inventory or shit right now. You can just say we do it. Yep. Yeah. All right, so, so now it's uh, the standard negative two. Yep, these roll unskilled attempts. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll bend it. I doubt it, but is there a way Rock could help? I don't think so. Gotcha. Benny, Benny again. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Ooh! Hey-o. Look at that. It's there we the, go. It's the, Rock, this is the messiest patch job you've ever <laughs> got in your life, but somehow it works. Which says a lot because you were a pit fighter. I know. Like, just like, <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah, it's I'm, it's almost like it's it's like it's it's almost like a child's glue paste and glue project from <laughs> kindergarten, but it's your wounds. I'm gonna go ahead and do the glowy hand thing and head pat the crow. Uh, n- yeah. N- Nibble watched Rock mesh do for thirty minutes. Like I can do this. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you did to me. Uh, but do you, do you, it didn't work. Do you do you want do you want to wait to see if Rog's final? Uh, the timeline puts it out the hour, so it's like what, two hours of waiting after that for the get the stuff back. I uh, get what stuff you're get any of my any of my spells back. Right, but I'm saying like. I'm assuming Nibble's doing this the same time Rock could be trying for Corbin's last wound. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. So I can try again if yep. you wish me to. If we're all cool. I mean, you could you could save you could save some point usage that for the day if you do that. Yeah. It's, yeah, let's go for it. Now that we know. Now that Rogmish sees that Rock is oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now, and now you explode. It double blew up. There we yeah. go. <laughs> all right. Yay. The crew is all patched up. Um, but unfortunately, uh, so I would say Giot like put the ship to a stop for that. But unfortunately, we still have. Oh God damn it! That's why I left the I, I left the fucking counter thing because you're still in the fucking uh field. I think it was. Four rounds. Yeah. All right, so we'll say we're on round five. 
All right. So you still need to navigate yourself out of this field. Um, so, um, I can roll for GI if we want, or if someone else wants to take the wheel, they can. Uh, I think the other person with voting is Corbin, and Corbin yeah. is in I, no position to be. Oh, uh, great I, as well. I, uh, I have. I you're right. I have voting. It's just a four. So mm. honestly, I would rather have Rogmesh be support. Yeah. Yeah. I don't trust Rock with that. I have okay. it at a four minus two. Oh yeah, a lot. A few of you uh, have it at four minus two. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll put Gray on the, on the steering, because he's got this, he's got it at a D6. Well, so does not Giat, so. We uh, can just keep Giat piloting. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay with any decision involving Giat that does not put them in danger, since they're not able to make yeah. calls for their character. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're currently all in danger, and there's no avoiding that, um, but, um, I guess my point is, like, you know how Foundry treats me with the virtual rules on Sundered Skies. <laughs> it is the complete opposite of Pathfinder. I will crit fail 80 times. That's why sure. I'm asking if somebody else wants to head that up or... Do you want me to just roll? Sure. <laughs> well, okay. Before you make, before you make uh, piloting rolls... Uh, when you say you, like, are you rolling you for, 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 Giat? Okay, hold on. Then, let's, let's. Sorry, first of all, I gotta take something off, Corbin, that you still have on you. Uh, all right. Anybody like to make support rolls? Yes. Okay. Nibble is gonna be Corbin's personal bodyguard now. <laughs> All right, so Giat's getting a plus one so far. Anybody else? Do we want Gray to make a support roll? <coughs> um, that's yeah. probably a good idea. Yeah, so let's do that. Sure, I'm sure I remember what the. Who wants to roll for Gray? I don't. I don't think I have access to Gray sheet. Everybody oh, no, should. Yeah. Because yeah, he's an NPC, so. Oh, okay. I do not. I'll do, I'll do the roll. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I do. I'm stupid. No, you're not. Whoops. Bam. There we go. Bam. There we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> Gray is like, fuck this fucking fog thing we are yeah. getting out of here. <laughs> Gray has had enough of this shit. Why don't I see it? Y'all, look. That's a big open space right there. Put the boat through it. I do not get paid enough for this job. <laughs> this job that I just took. <laughs> he gets paid? Yeah, we're gonna yeah. have to pay him based yeah. off the salvage. Alright, give me give me one second, guys. Uh something something weird happened where like I accidentally minimized the page and I could not see and no and then like no card popped up for the giant roll that just happened, so <sighs> I imagine that was a, a lot of raises, though, right? For it was a total of 16. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now uh, Giat's at plus three, so we there's room for one more point of support bonus if someone wants to. Ah, there, I see it now. N Nibble's not leaving Corbin's side. Corbin's not in a state to make the roll. Well. So I think, that, I think it's just going to be the plus three. All right, Giat rolls boating plus three. You said Giats was a six? Yes, D6. So it's a two, two D6 because skill and wild. Two and six. The six explodes. Another two. Wait, when you said six, did you mean like a natural six? Yes. Okay. So a six and a two. Plus three. Plus three. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's a success with a raise. Uh, which means... Zoom, zoom. Uh. Uh, okay. So, you avoid... Uh, damage in that round. Uh, so... Anybody who wants to make support rolls, roll again. 
How do we do a support roll again? Yeah. Uh, boating. Uh, Just boating? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll roll for Gray again. I, I will say, though, I'll, I'll tell you what. With a, with a, with a big... Uh, oh wait, no, that was a support roll. Never mind, not the boating roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, plus one from Rogmesh. And then, nice. Plus one from Gray. Plus one from from Rock. Or no, not plus one from Rock. He got a three. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. He's trying his best. Yeah. Oh, he in the way. Six. Five. Six total from the first one? Uh, the first was a natural six. So the five would have exploded off of it. Ah, okay. So 11 plus two is 13. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is a success with two raises. Uh, for two raises, I'll, I'll say you advance through the field. This isn't technically how it's supposed to work, but I kind of want to speed this up. Uh, so I'll say you advance two rounds through the field with that. So we were on round five. No, we were round six. Uh, so now we're on eight. So you got to do this two more times unless you get a big fat roll. Okay. Yep. Uh, I got right again. Corbin yeah. is going to take his new blanket and go take a nap. Yeah, valid. Oh, no. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to hit the confirm button. Oh, you hit oh the I already button. did. I already did. Not confirmed. All right, so it's just a regular failure. Uh, all right, well. Oh, it blows up. And it blows up. All right, that's, Holy two, shit. that's two Yep. for the roll so far. Anybody else contributing? Uh, Yeah, I'll try it another time. Nibbles didn't clean up the blood. Ooh, that's a four. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. look at that. Nice. Hey. Rock's, Rock's learning a little bit. Maybe they'll pick hey, up some yeah. boating in the future. All right, so that's a plus three. Uh, two threes. <laughs> okay, but three plus three is six. So oh. that's a success. Good thing for the support. Uh, so you mm -hmm. need one. We need one more roll then. Okay. All this, right. will, this will get you out of plenty or not out of plenty excuse me out of the razor <laughs> passage shoots you right over the fucking place yeah <laughs> god damn it roll could hit the hey come button. on buddy <laughs> i'll let you hit confirm this time oh no oh, oh no okay. oh no uh minus one so far Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> all right all right great what are we doing oh um i'm gonna benny that Oh god. Oh, no. Minus <laughs> two so far. Jeez. What a <laughs> for, oh, for a Benny, would someone like to explain what kind of slapstick bullshit is happening that that happened? Uh oh, Rogmesh, I... Rogmesh is like looking trying to like keep an eye on out for more sharks and in the process stumbles oh stumbles into Grey as he's probably like trying to like batten down the sails or whatever and they just end up like falling over each other getting tangled up in the rope there's lots of curses being thrown everywhere it's it's a mess and kiss. then they get married and then they get married <laughs> uh well thankfully rock pulls through uh so you're only at a minus one now just cut through the Ooh. bullshit hey fuck what the fuck are you guys doing Third die is three, second die is six, the explosion is four. So ten minus one is nine. All right. And despite the tomfoolery uh, <laughs> that happens um, at the end there, Gia is able to guide you guys out of the stone field. And that's too powerful. Thankfully. You guys are very lucky. Whatever rotation, because this doesn't always happen, but whatever uh, rotation or orbit of the island uh, island is happening, you guys uh, find yourself coming out of the... God damn it, you said... 
I mean, you guys find yourself. You y'all can't see on this on the chat, but they're all they're all typing fan fiction in the fucking chat here. <laughs> um, no, it's canon now. It happens every single time, and God, you know it. God damn it. Um, you guys uh uh get out of the cloudy expanse that is the Razor Passage, and you find yourself back in the open skies, and you darn near immediately see the Island of Plenty. Large and bountiful. So, the next question is, the next question is, Plenty is one of the rougher islands to um, approach. As you get closer, you do find little smaller boats that are like, uh, you know, shoremen who are specialized in getting the boats to, to the island safely, but that costs 50 cogs. You either spin 50 cogs or well here's 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 two definite options. You either spin 50 cogs to get there safely 100 percent or Giot makes another boating roll to uh moor the ship to the island and not fucking smash it into the island. Uh you guys don't have any more island skippers, right? No, we sold them. Nope. Okay, so option I thought we still had one. Nope, nope, I sold both of them. Okay. So option three is not available, which was you <laughs> you 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 uh anchor the boat in the magnetic field and then just skip her on. Um uh, I feel we should roll again, because I think we we've got our bad rolls out of the way. Rogmish is also happy to pay fifty cogs out of their own pocket to get us there safely after that. We did just kerfuffle. get fifty cogs from the fucking shark. Quiet. Yeah. You're all tied up with uh, you're all tied up with Gray right now. True. <laughs> True. I think I, like Corbett for a hot second. I, I think, was like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After 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 some pointless struggle and cursing, uh, he goes, "Are you feeling what I'm feeling?" Uh, what are you feeling? This is not um. I don't mean to be too forward. This is not something going on right here, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, do you want something to be going on here? Well, maybe not in front of everybody. <laughs> Damn. Oh, well, okay, so vo- okay, so you're not a voyeurist, I see. Well, Corbin got a new daddy. He, 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 <laughs> he, whis- he whispers, he whispers, and then like he kind of nods his head over to Corbin and Nibble, and he's like, not in front of the kids. <laughs> You know, fair. Um, I, I, I mean, you know, I, let's get into town and we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, we need to we need to actually get untangled first. Uh, uh it, you know, yeah, true. Uh, you got a knife on you? <laughs> Nibble comes over and throws more rope on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then runs away quickly. Holy shit! <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> well, uh, I did have access to it before that happened. Uh, Corbin, remind me to remind me to slap that one upside the head when we actually get somewhere. Corbin gives yeah. Nibble a high five. <laughs> Holy shit! That's so Corbin funny. Doesn't even know what's going on. Nope. But his friend is happy, and therefore it should be rewarded. Yeah, they don't know what sex is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're three shit. days old. Of course they don't. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what sex is. Hey. Describe it to me first, so I know that you know. <laughs> hey, they were only three days old in their backstory. They were like what, two months old now? Something like that. <laughs> True. They're almost a year old. Uh. uh anyways. Uh, anyway, <laughs> somehow, somehow you get untied by the by the, by the grace of the gods. Um, and yeah, I, I go back to the original question: Are you more in the ship, or are you buying your way safely? I'm good with buying. I'm good with buying. I kind of think yeah. it'd be funny for more crit fails, so I say we roll. I say we roll. <laughs> All right, that's two for. So, uh, we have five players, so Ben, you're the tiebreaker. No pressure. Go for the fun A. Go for the fun A. You could abstain and they could play Rollsies. <laughs> if you don't want to, if you don't want to be the, the tiebreaker. 
Ian, did you mute your mic? Me? Yeah. No, no, I'm here. You're the tiebreaker. Are we are we paying to 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 latch onto the island, or are we rolling to try and get boating scores to get to the island? Rolling. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Road time. Uh, so one more time. I feel nothing but fear. <laughs> one more time, if anybody would like to. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. From Grace. Gray? Nice. Grace right. gotta impress somebody. That's you know. Yeah. That's true. That's okay. true. So, well, that's, that's, Grace yeah. is using that new blood flow. Yeah, Jot's <laughs> got a plus two. Yeah, well, yeah. Jot's got a plus two. <laughs> yeah. I feel nothing but fear, you guys. Wait, is anybody else participating? Uh, Jot's got a plus two. Right. Okay. I guess if there's no one else, I'm just I'm just shaking my head in my palm, leaning against the mast. It's a one and a two. Oh, so I think that needs a Benny. Well, hold on. With a plus two, that's a four. Yeah, as long uh, as the four is good enough to get us to the island, we're good. Uh, uh, yeah. The the rule book didn't say anything about penalties. It just said make a boating roll. So okay. All right, Sick. you. Well, you ignore the offers of a, a, a myriad of different like boaters out there. Ah, oh, we can get you there, please. Uh, Fifty cogs, whatever. Uh, Giat says, "I just, I just flew through the Razor Passage and a whole <laughs> field of rocks. I am not spending fifty. My cogs. arms are fucking tired. And they yeah. moor the ship into plenty. So." Let's change maps. Oh, how cute! Oh, sheeps! So the hut where Gray and Rogmesh are gonna fuck? So, (laughs) (laughs) holy shit! (laughs) So, uh, (laughs) as like uh, most pictures I find for this game. This is not entirely representative of Plenty, but it pretty much is if you replace this gray sky with a sickening, maddening (laughs) yellow-orange, you you would would have something quite similar to what you see. Welcome to the breadbasket of the skies, Plenty. Um... So... Um... For the sake... For for the sake of um, my my policy about characters, we're gonna assume Gia either just stays on the bow or just does non dangerous errands around town. And if yeah. you guys get into something dangerous and we don't finish it, and then we end up next week with Leaf in that same position, uh, we just retcon them in there. Yep, that uh, sounds fine by me. Yeah, I think Gia goes and gets a drink. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Gia, Gia, it's like I, I lads and laddies, lasses. I uh, I put a lot of work in, so this uh, this girl's Gia's getting, like this, good luck. Use protection. I'm getting drunk. This girl's getting it. <laughs> good luck. Don't wear a condom, and I'm getting drunk. <laughs> All right, and great. <laughs> Cause that you know we're <laughs> we're engineering new life, I guess. But anyways, um, so now we gotta teach Corbin how to steal, right? That was our oh plan yeah, that was part of the here. whole thing. Yep, and especially since Rogmesh is distracted. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have two adventures. We have the adults going to Boink, and then we have <laughs> the, the, the the kids and Coradil going to steal. So. Let me give you, let me tell you a little bit. Let me tell you a little bit about plenty before you go thieving and fucking. Uh, you sit your kids down. Plenty, the breadbasket of the skies, is less than a mile from the great run of falls. Plenty's orbit matches the falls, blessing it with constant rain and frequent harvests. Most ships passing through the falls are crushed, swamped, or sent spinning out of control by the force of the water. 
Specially constructed grain barges, however, are able to travel through. These barges export food to other isles. Less hardy ships planning to visit plenty. Must have said, brave the Razor Passage, blah, blah, blah. This is stuff I already told you. And hmm, the stuff I already told you was pretty much the description of the island. But there's more. Let me read some places of note to you that you can visit. Uh, there's a navigator hall, like every other island. Uh, give me... If anybody would like to give me uh, common knowledge rolls, they can. Okay. Sure. <coughs> yeah, Benny mine. Oh, I'm not on physical dice? How did I get the exact same roll? Do you want to be on physical dice? Yeah. Hold what? on. Let, yes, me, let a, me go do that. I know how to do it. Okay. I'm a, oh, I'm never mind. There's no time. physical dice as an option. So word. Mm -hmm. That that's a. We will deal with it. We will deal with it at a later time. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just weird because like that's a core foundry thing, so that shouldn't be gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think you ever turn it on for this game. You're it's it's ahead. per it's per person. It's per client. Oh. So. That's why I was so convinced I was on physical dice because I'm on physical dice for everything else. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but, I know I know you're trying to save me wasting time, but that's gonna like I, uh, bug me, just cause. Uh, I see dice configuration, and I don't know, it's there on my end. All right, we'll worry about it at a later date, though. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Cora, Corbin, Rock, uh, and Rogmesh. I think I got everybody. Uh, you guys know uh, this about plenty. You gotta find where I was at. There. Uh, so, a man named a human man named Derek Gedlon of the trade is a trade council representative who oversees food distribution and grade grain barge shipments uh, from here. He commands f about. Uh, 50 professional militia and a council ship. So, you, my little thieves, you are on one of the most important and fucking well regulated by the trade council fucking islands in the sky. So, enjoy that for your thieving adventure. Uh, there's the teardrop, the holiest of the life mother temples. Um, and there's the runoff swamp, an area almost a hundred square miles in size, which is closest to the runoff falls. The constant rain has created a swamp unsuitable for either habitation or agriculture. Uh, these are the big main areas of the island. There's, of course, random farms, taverns, inns, things of that nature. Uh, not represented well by this picture is we, we, we don't have little cottages remembered due to the nature of the skies they're more like little hobbit burrows uh, but they are around uh, and you do see there's a lot of like planted trees and like tarps around to try to cover up as much as possible but you do see people working you know farmland and risking their lives just as uh, nearly as much as a sailor, a sky sailor, a sky, bleh, 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 a sky sailor risks their own life to not be infected by the void. So do the people of plenty so that the entirety of the skies can eat. Uh, yeah. They get paid a fuck ton more than we do, though. What are, what are we stealing first? <laughs> Excuse me? I want to remind you, you're here, to, you're here to get water too. Don't forget, you're, don't forget you need water. Yeah, we're we're here for fire overall. Yeah, yeah, we need water. So, so we need we need to find water and behave yourselves. Actually, how long were we out? What do you mean out? Because you just like got sailing from. How many days was it? Oh Five god! It's, yeah, it was like, oh shit! Uh, we need to before we get too deep into plenty. Yeah. Okay. Let's re let's rewind twenty minutes and say we're still on the boat. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. We're gonna make globe madness checks. I almost forgot. We need that five weeks called for a globe madness check. However, however, <laughs> how, the rules are a little different for for long travels. So let me find that. He has a tier. No, it wouldn't be that. Skyship rules, maybe. Oh my god, why is this PDF zoom in so far whenever I change it? Adobe, please. Okay. So uh the the basic rules for this for for board these are called boredom rules. The the basic rules are the same in that you're just gonna roll spirit, however. Uh, you you each roll an individual one like normal, and then all the extras would roll like a group one. Well, maybe not all of them. Like named ones like Gray would probably roll their own. But like, let's say you hired like five generic sailors in the future, like they'd all roll as a group, right? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> so shipboard entertainers or song priests can help counterboard them by distracting the crew with funny, inspiring, or lewd stories. Tumbling, juggling, and sleight of hand magic tricks. An entertainer makes a persuasion roll at the end of each five period, including any bonuses for uh, professional edges such as acrobat or song priest. Uh, each success and raise on the roll adds a plus two to the crew's spirit roll. The entertainer's own spirit roll benefits from half of these bonuses. You would also get the bonus from the, the willow ability that they have. Uh, also, unlike the glow that you've been dealing with, the glow madness levels that you've been dealing with, where like you pretty much have to spirit them out or get healed with a spell, um, because this is more because this is not necessarily an effect of direct avoid light. You can heal these these any wound any glow madness wounds you get from this. You can heal once the crew spends a full week on any civilized island. The clock is reset. And any levels of glow man is picked up on the last trip are recovered. Mm -hmm. Nice. So if you gained like two levels of glow madness from a bad roll on a boredom roll, you could spend two weeks on an island and get them back. If you had one level of glow madness from direct glow and one level from boredom and you spent two weeks, you would regain one because one of them was not from that. I know that's Wait, a little, I know it's a little nitpicky, so we gotta be careful to track that, but it honestly at this point in the game, I feel like outside of weird random little moments like um the Shattered City or or the Razor's Edge or Razor Passage, like this is gonna be the majority of the rolls from this point forward. Uh any any time anytime you run into daily rolls from this point forward, like you're gonna be out like is when you're out like in in the wilds doing exhibition exhibitions. Yeah, you're doing exhibitions for everybody. Everybody's watching. Some of us are. Yeah. When, when you're when you're when you're uh, hey oh when you're on quest and shit, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. So first of all, Cora, do you does Cora do any kind of entertainment to keep everybody kind of? Uh, depends. Do you find converting people to my god entertainment? I does. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Corbin's been interested anyway. But it's mostly that and, like, trying to actually write a fucking song that isn't bad. <laughs> you you said you said that with such certainty and confidence that I'm going to give you a minus one to this role. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you do get, but it does say you do get any professional bonuses too. So I think like your song. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still at a plus one. Still at a plus one. Yeah. So go ahead and roll <laughs> persuasion plus one. Good thing for that plus one. All right. So, everyone else, you, you don't want to bend in there, right? No, leave alone. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the place. So, uh, everyone but Cora is going to get plus two from that roll and plus two from their Willow ability to their spirit rolls. Cora, you're going to get plus one from your roll 
And then plus two from your willow ability. Do I make this roll because I can't go glow mad? No, you, you do care. not. You don't care. Okay. So wait, so we get a total... Yep, you, you get plus four. You get don't crit fail. Just don't crit fail, yeah. Can't wait for the crit fails. Ooh, I saw oh, one flash. Oh, I blew up. Damn, look at me go. Uh, oh, I got I'm coming. Got a roll for grade two. Four. Uh, Spirito. Oh, he has some glow madness on him. God, he's irritable. That's right. Oh yeah. Maybe some fucking will help him out. I was gonna man. say maybe some fucking will get this stick out of his ass. <laughs> because he hasn't gotten that sweet, sweet gorgeous booty. Mm -mm. I, I was like, I saw it too. I'm like, oh my god, am I going to crit fail? Uh, oh, damn, he got a 15. Uh, I did get 15. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll be nice and say with a roll that big. Um, And because he's about to possibly about to smush smush. That uh, he does lose his globe madness level. Oh. I can't believe Nibble Shenanigan so hard. Greg got better. <laughs> yeah. Nibble got the 15. Greg got a 5. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. Oh, this did not jump down like it should. Oh. Oh. Okay, then uh, I'm actually going to give him that back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. There we go. Okay, never mind. He's still irritable. Maybe maybe less so soon, but uh, that, glow, that glow madness was picked up from the void itself. He's going to need, like, to either roll it out uh, with a raise or roll something. something out. Yeah, or... <laughs> he, yeah, right? Uh, okay. All right, so back on track. Uh, plenty. Here we are. Who would like to do what first? Hmm. I'm still adjusting how much water got used from the stuff I had. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be first on Rogmesh's mind is getting water. Yeah, yeah whatever. I think Rock will go with them. I, I, I'm not sure what Rock would get otherwise. You said five weeks? Yeah. How much water is that? So they, they, there's no special rules for that. So like, how much you need to drink a day was a quart, thirty two or something like forty eight. Yeah, it's a quart. All right, so it's a quart per person per day. Yeah, I'm down to twenty two on what I bought. Because I bought a shit ton. Am I not? I thought I had added water in, in here, but I guess I only added rations. Yeah, I was going to say, Corbin is definitely out of water. Yeah, so is yeah. Uh, Nibble. So, I would be safe to assume that Rockmesh is also out. Group shopping expedition! Oh Yay. my god! Oh my god, Rebecca. Uh, so hold on, let's see. Where are hazards? There we are, hazards. And I'm looking for hunger. Uh, average size humans need about 1500 calories of reasonably nutritious food per day to avoid the effects of hunger. If sufficient substance isn't available, care to begins to hunger. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna say one ration is a meal for everybody. So three meals a day. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I'm small. Can I get away with two? No. Damn. Would you to be query? Because I'm 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 at a negative one for size. So yeah, it makes sense. So wait, are we saying one ration is one meal? Yes. Oh. I mean, so we need three rations per day. It might not be the best meal, but like it's 
Remind, I mean, the rules, it says one ration per day. Which remind, is, reminder, yeah. reminder that hunting is a thing too. If you ever need food, right? Like, we did get a bunch of meat off the shark. We did. We did. Did we ever figure? Did we ever talk about how much that was? Don't think so. Um, let's call it. Sorry, I'm trying to envision the immensity of a fucking shark, you know. 30 rations? Mm -hmm. If you chop okay. that bad boy up. Okay. You actually might be able to hire someone on Plenty to do it for you. Uh, so I guess the question becomes, Mr. GM. Yeah. How much do we have to buy of rations and waters to get us to our next location? Yeah. Ooh, a Atri lot. a lot. Atrium's pretty fucking far. Um so sorry, I'm trying to let's see, where are my Right, so just making sure Oh, okay. Making sure I got the right journey from plenty to atrium. There we go. So you're looking. Uh, it's always random, but you're looking at at least. I'm not going to give you the number because with the way the, the islands float, it's always kind of random. I do have a set number, but I'm going to say you would know at least 10 weeks, but it could Ooh. be more. Depending on the rotation of the islands. No, I'm sorry. We'll call it at least 12 weeks. And then depending on the rotation of the islands. Okay, hold on. A bitch will do math. Um, so. It's 12 weeks. That's a, 72 that, per I gotta day. say, I gotta say, I gotta say though. This is also assuming you straight shot it to Atrium. Yeah. Yeah, true. Oh. Uh. That's so let's assume 72 food and right? water per week. Is that per person? That's per... That's... No, that's not counting gray. It's, uh... 70... It's more than that. It's 77 food and water. Why am I doing... Wait, my math is fucked up. If we... Okay, so if you take... Tw it's 12 weeks, there's 7 days in a week. So it's 84 days that we need food and water for. And if we need to have three rations a day, that's 84 times three. So we need 252 rations. And then for water, it's just one. So it'd be 84 quarts of water. Per person. Per person. So all that times seven. Is that true? Hold on. Hold on. I'm writing this in the notes so we don't have to do the math again. <clears throat> Thank you. Let's delete the notes. Is five weeks a month or is it six weeks? Five. Four have, to four to five, yeah. You have one more thing to worry about after you figure this out. Glow madness. Of course. If it goes bad. No, it's not glow madness. We already worried about that. Okay. It's if the food will go bad. Nope. How many of us are there total? Seven counting gray. Okay. So that's 1,764 rations. And 588 quarts of water. Please don't make me convert quarts to gallons, I'm begging you. So I'm gonna be, so now that we're actually working out the math, I'm gonna be transparent and blunt with y'all about this to hopefully ease some concerns and shit like that. Now that I'm actually hearing the numbers, Okay. Oh shit, we don't have yeah, it's space on the boat for it all. Well, no, this this so this game doesn't have strict um like food rules and water rules, right? What they have is like they'll have like shit where like if you run into a certain bad effect, it might like remove it, it'll say like if you have water, ignore this bad effect, but if you don't have water, you start like getting thirsty and shit, right? And then I also kind of base it on like I can also kind of base it on vibes. <laughs> so now that I was good, I, I was, I started letting you guys work it out simulation style because I have no concept of space and math. 
Uh, okay. but, but hearing <laughs> but hearing the actual numbers, do not worry about getting literally that much because that's yep. that I that feels too much uh to deal with, right? Uh but you should um try to maybe buy at least a decent amount of rations. So when I say decent, I mean like I don't know, twenty. Which twenty we call it we're calling twenty in the abstract, right? Yeah. Yep. Um and same with water. It's so like um, twenty per person. Um, game master. Yeah. If I may. I'm looking up the trail rations in the compendium. Yeah. And one ration is five meals. Word? It keeps for one week. Okay. Hey, nice. there we go. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm going to give you a Benny, in fact. Awesome. So if one of them equals five meals. The other problem with that. It keeps for one week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, unless Let's we just find buy like, a fridge, <laughs> funny guy. That's also trail um, rations. Uh, what about iron rations? What? What'd you say? Iron rations last longer because they're <laughs> like hard tack and shit that doesn't go bad. Mm. Hard tack goes, doesn't go bad because it's already bad. <laughs> I would allow you to use old school preserve, pre preserving techniques, though, on trail rations. J can we just get like a barrel of salt and throw the rations in there? Yeah. There you go. So to, let me... to make it so that we have something that is concrete, that we're all like in agreement on. If one, you said one ration was five meals. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh, hold on. My brain just immediately decided that math was too complicated for it. Oh, we're doomed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you we want to we want to say that we should probably buy five rations and five quarts of water because that would be five days, air quotes, of of supplies. Does that seem fair? Seems good to me. Yeah, that's probably all we can really feasibly hold in our cargo space, too. So, so five and five. Yes. You might actually, you might actually have some emptier cargo space because of the next thing we have to worry about. But uh, if you guys have that solidified, I'm good with it. I'm good yeah, with I'm that being that. a standard. Okay. Refueling amount. Right. Right. Um, who's going to, because I got a lot on my plate already, who is going to volunteer to track that? What do you mean? You just keep track of, like, a day passed, so the, these many, these many charges of a ration got used or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, then that, that bears the second thing of we would then have to make sure that we bought enough for the whole trip. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, That yeah. you were trying to avoid. Yeah, so okay, I, figured... I got you, I got you. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, sorry, when, when, when one equaled five, I was like, oh, maybe that isn't a worry, but okay. Again, uh, no, no, no number, no math in this brain. Uh, yeah. basic little baby math so I can teach, uh, uh, elementary schoolers and that's okay. it Query. i think i think what might be easier if he would uh if he would be amenable to the suggestion mm -hmm. is to assign a number of cogs per week of supplies that's on the ship and therefore if we are on the ship we draw from that amount but if we are like on a planet or an island we draw from our personal amount i like that idea okay okay I'm good with that. Sure. Sure. Mine was going to be the Blades in the Dark style situation where it's okay, we just cut back and we spent this much because this is how long we were out. Yeah. Because starvation isn't fun. Yeah. Is Blades in the Dark, you played that a bunch? 
I have. It's very much you play it now and then your roles and shit are going back to pre-plan. Yeah, to I mean, like, you, you like it? I don't mean to change the subject. It's, it's, it's alright. It's, oh, okay. You I have to be it. in the right mood for it. I get you. Mm. It seems very it seems very narrative based versus It is. Yeah. I know that much at least. Um Okay, so <laughs> the other money issue you're facing is that uh since it's been five months, Gray wants his pay. Yeah. Five months, five um, weeks, excuse me, jeez. Uh how much do we owe him? Let's see. I just point at Rogmesh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Rogmish and uh, Ray find out a, a, a suitable arrangement. <laughs> so you guys had uh, decided to uh, to uh, pay any to pay Gray and presumably any future uh, crewmates uh, with shares of salvage. So I'm going to read right from the book. The typical arrangement for scavengers is two shares for the ship's bank to be used for repairs, outfitting, and so on. Two shares for the captain, two shares for any shipboard priests or sorcerers, and two shares for the most skillful scavenger on board. Also, all others receive a single share. Uh, first mates, sorcerers, surgeons, and other specialized crew are paid one. Oh, oh, that's for cogs. Never mind. Uh, okay, so now a lot of the roles i just read off are pcs you guys can honestly decide how you do that however you want if you want to split shares or just do what you've been doing and split money that's whatever uh but uh gray i'll say for now gray is okay with just getting a share of of a share a, a, a share of salvage uh from whatever salvage we have like a percentage uh in the future since a i imagine in the future i'll probably ask for more of those since that a he was the first one to join uh post the full group and b he's a named character uh <laughs> right so fair thing number three um Sorry, I'll freely admit, I was not listening to a thing you said because I was taking notes about the cog thing and we didn't actually finish that. You just jumped to Gray's payment. Oh, well then never mind about Gray's payment right now. Finish the cog thing. Uh, we need to determine how much is uh, cost per day for the crew so we know how much cogs we have to set aside for the travel. So for all seven of us, how much does it cost per day in food and water? How much was, uh, do you still have the trail ration up there, bro? Uh, yeah, trail, trail rations were one. One cog? Please, so. I lied, I actually put it down, but I'll get back up again. <laughs> um, and this is also from the, the suede handbook, not from the Sundered Skies. Oh, oh okay. so tra trail rations cost ten. 10, okay. But regular rations in the the sway in the sundered skies cost one. Let me look at whatever I have in the actual compendiums. Yeah. That's why I, I thought that's what we were looking at. Hero, uh, whoops, I'm looking at the wrong folder. Armor, weapon. Yeah, I think this is it. Should be under adventurer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's trail rations. Rations, one a day. Uh, yep. And then that's rations. So was the five meal thing from the suede book? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I am I am amenable to keeping it that. Because I because it, uh, it here says rations, one a day. And then it says water court, one a day. So. How much is the price for the water court, one a day? Uh, that one is that also one's one. wonky because that's it's... wonky though here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, w would water be cheaper here since they're plentiful on it? Uh, I've thought about that. Um, so well, when we actually when we actually engage with that, okay. So here's the thing: rations say one a day, which to me raises like you eat one and you're good the whole day. 
Yeah. It's like a, like a, yeah, it's that, an abstract. So yeah. Would that just be easier? Yes. That'd be, yeah. yeah. That'd be a lot easier. Yeah. So there you go. Rations are one one a, one a day. You're good. They cost one. Uh, a quart of water is what you drink one a day, and a quart costs one. All right. So it's fourteen cogs a day to get us food and water situated out Ever. for the whole crew. Yes. So if it's going to take twelve weeks, twelve weeks. Thank you. <laughs> Watch, we're not going to have enough. <laughs> well, All right, so that's eighty-four weeks. days at fourteen cogs a day. We need to have one thousand one hundred and seventy-six cogs to get cool. us from here to Atrium. Oh, you could steal it. <laughs> Man's so, makes a point. N- Nibble yeah. has thirteen point two five cogs. Uh- so I'm going to tell you right now. Remember, the shark gives you like thirty for free. 50 yeah. or 50 excuse me so you uh, do, we have, do we have salvage we can sell we do not okay. we um when we left the last island we split everything so everybody got 470 cogs sure. and the only thing we've gotten since then is the 50 is the cogs shark. from the shark okay yeah Are there are odd jobs like posted on the island yeah yeah Um, well, we can move around to look around the island if you want, but, um, so there's no, there's no salvage, you said? There's no salvage. Okay. Before we- To make this even more complicated for you in terms of paying Gray, you had declared that we were just going to convert all salvage to cogs to make it easier. Right. Okay. So this Uh, one's on you, chief. (laughs) (laughs) there you have it folks you know what i have a simple solution for this moment in time before i figure it out earnestly well just divide the 50 cogs by seven no i was gonna fuck uh rock (laughs) okay (laughs) yeah that's that's fair yeah she's down for it like he, he 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 talks about payment with you guys, realizes there's no payment, and he's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> like, <it's just> literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Like, nah, yeah. That's, that's what you're gonna do with me, with us, right? <laughs> Alright. Now, if we take the... I didn't write down the number! Why am I like this? Which number? 1,176. Yeah. I'd buy six right because seven includes gray right yeah everybody has to pitch in 196 cogs okay just that so that for, way that was for three rations a day i don't wanna okay i will huh that was for three rations a day no rations are just one the 1000 the 1176 is the 14 cogs a day Times seven days times twelve weeks. Oh, okay, okay. I'm yeah, I'm yeah. Tired. It's okay. Oh, okay. Listen, I would rather be double checked on my math than just been oh, like, yeah. yeah, they're clearly correct. Again, <laughs> no, again, again. I want you guys to realize this though. Your thing is strictly in money. Yes. Hunting is a viable mm-hmm. option. Yes. Right. Yes. Like, but if we're trying to, if Rock we're trying to, an archer. <laughs> yeah, but if we're trying to quote prepare end quote yeah. right. for I a did, journey. I got you. I got you. I'm just. Yeah. I just want to make that clear so that it's not like, I don't want to get the vibe that like, you run out of money, you're fucked either. We right? will like, start. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can Nibble go hunting? Like right I now. I thought Nibble was going to teach Corbin I how to steal things. Here. Yeah. That, that is a good question though. Are there places on Plenty to hunt, that are legal? <laughs> Um, give me a common knowledge roll. Okay. Um, aside from maybe the runoff swamp, probably, yeah, there's probably some... Okay. Uh, well, actually, it is... Hold on, hold on. Actually, it is an island, not a country. Hmm... Actually, you know what? The answer is probably no, because most of it is probably farmland. You know what I'm saying? Again, aside from yeah, the that's swamp. yeah, that's that's what 
Grog Mesh is like, okay, can I hunt anywhere that's not considered poaching? Yeah. And okay, so not the farm thing. animals. Okay, so, um, <laughs> on the docket is, um, Rod get steal it, stealing fucking water <laughs> and maybe, food. and maybe odd jobs and f- uh, well, yeah. water slash food and maybe odd jobs to help well, I mean, the odd job can be any of those three. Mm-hmm. This is true. Yeah. Cause yeah, it could it could also be like maybe a barter barter system in a sense. What do you want? What yeah. do we want to handle first? To be clear, the fucking <laughs> the fucking will not take long, and we will fade to black pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> When I, I mean, that's... When, when we talk about dealing with one of the four, I want to be clear about that. Peaceful <laughs> performance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that, so. Roll, I have roll like, for dick size. Uh, roll I'm for intimidation. We are not playing <laughs> fatal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going fi- to I'm 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 find us an in, Gray says. And he. Uh, all right. And he saunters off to do so. I'm gonna go into the market since I'm apparently the best one for it. Uh, I go with Cora. Corbin's gonna follow Coradilia. Rogmesh doesn't like the idea of all of y'all going off by yourselves. <laughs> but you got more I gotta wait for Gray. So we'll be fine. We won't get in trouble. I promise. All right. Hmm. I wonder if. Rock I watched shit. them the whole time. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what's Ben, ben was talking? Uh, I think Rock will stay back. I think uh, I think he's not. I think he's not with the whole. He knows he'll get used if he goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Sweet dreams are All right. made of the. Let's start. <laughs> let's handle. Let's handle the rules wise. The quickest one. Uh, you, you, uh, that's, that's gonna depend on Gray, but no, I said, ru- I said, rules wise, uh, 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 he gets you guys a room at mm-hmm. an inn called the corn, <laughs> the corn on the cob. And, really? and oh, when, you, when you meet, when you, when you meet him in the room, he's like, it's, it, it was literally the one with the best rate. I didn't do that as a joke. Um, uh, it, okay, I'll I'll believe you. <laughs> it is wrong and a slob and a slob. I mean, Gray's the one with iron jaw, so it might be. Her. Y'all are assuming a lot. <laughs> <laughs> My man does not waste any time. Roll vigor. Uh, uh I, I got Gray. You got Gray. <laughs> I have a D10, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys lie. tied. Oh uh, man! And then they realized they were both bots. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they both real. They both realized they were both tops. That's the problem. <laughs> Wait, who has more spirit? <laughs> Ooh, that's a Ooh. good point. Wow, we really Grace got this one. Roll, roll spirit. <laughs> roll spirit, y'all. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. no! Oh shit! Oh, oh no! Raise the bottom. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, hold wait. on. Confirm, I... confirm. It's not even close. Okay, it's not critical. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you did you roll? It should have been. Oh okay, yeah. I I clicked the rolls. Yeah, I saw. I saw. I just saw the one, and I was like, what? Uh. uh. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say with a tied vigor, but that blowout of spirit graze a bottom <laughs> but he's not a submissive bottom I don't like those words fun. that's fine a blowout of spirit yeah <laughs> <laughs> Rog is that's... a power top now my spirit got blown out oh Rog... my, my, my fucking spirit I got blown out oh, oh fuck nah, Rog, Rog, Rogmash is a brat tamer I don't know what y'all talking about oh, shit fuck all right. On this oh, day, what's up with all the kids? Paint. All right. So now, so we got a bunch of accounting done, and Rod got fucked. Uh, it's we want to break down at eight o'clock. 
Go yeah, to the, smart get, idea. A ba- get a bathroom yeah, break yeah. in. I got salad away from me downstairs. I want to grab. Yeah. Uh, go get then, a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How, how long we got for break? Ten minutes, say. Ten ish. Okay. Uh, and when we get back, we <laughs> will resolve any shopping that's being done, any thieving that's being done, and maybe maybe it'll be some odd jobs. Who knows? Okay. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, all right, guys, we will be right back. And we are back. So we've figured out food, water, kind of, and Rog and Gray got a different kind of food. The sexual oh, kind gray, gray had a snack uh, <laughs> gray may have been consumed himself fuck i don't know <laughs> they're, they're you know. calling each other snacks and rock is in there be like i'm the whole meal i don't even know it <laughs> <laughs> he's standing in the in the he's standing he's in the neighboring room and he's in the corner doing that they don't know meme to <laughs> yeah they, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't even realize Yes, Leaf. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> it was completely organic too. They like both crit failed, fell into a dog pile of rope in themselves, mm-hmm. and uh, hey, you know, mm-hmm. one thing led to jokes. another. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, there, was, there was an extra, there was an extra blade and mm-hmm. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so uh, while they do that, um, we got what we say actual shopping and maybe some thievery so who mm-hmm. wants to do yep. what i mean i'm oh. actually gonna be doing the shopping because i'm apparently the only one who's good at it right i got i got you on that i just wonder who's who's going first i think the thieving crew and the shopping crew are the same i think we're okay. just gonna go shopping first yes okay um so what does your heart desire to buy food and water? Yeah, food and water. Okay. Because the trip is important to get food and water because it's however many months. So let's start with food because that's going to be pretty much, there's no variation to that one. And normally there'd be no variation, but you're on plenty for water. So uh, let's see. Can we get a discount for buying in bulk? So rations are common. That's not what I thought you were gonna say. Uh, and common. What do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> we can't go any further until Buds tells me what they think I was gonna say. <laughs> I, honest to God, thought you were gonna be like, "Do we get a discount if we try to fuck?" <laughs> like... <laughs> Who do you think I am, Rock? Oh, Nash? you. <laughs> uh, I would also like to point out that the Cimarron is Penty. The what? Oh my god, the it is Penty. What's this Penty? The scene we're on. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Damn. No! <laughs> Wait, where do you see the scene? Where do you see top, the name? Top, top left, left next to the anvil. Oh yeah, it does. Not <laughs> anymore. It's Penty. It's Penty. No, I've changed it now. The game was like, fuck you, Judd, you will take an L. <laughs> I I take enough. I don't need any more. Where is the fucking chart? Okay. So as a common uh thing. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're we're gonna we're gonna dodge that whole thing because these things are common rated and you're on fucking plenty. Uh I'm not gonna make you roll 1d6 over and over again. Uh just you know how much? How much? How, buy however many you want. Uh, however many is required for what we decided. Uh, all right, hold on. You said how many cogs are they worth? One. One. One, one per. Uh, it's just ten cogs. Because it's five, it's five rations and five quarts of water to have the personal store. So, 
35 then because we're getting everybody. Are we buying for everybody? I mean, there's seven people on the ship. We'd only have to buy for six. I don't think Gray counts into the needing a personal store. Because he's not a he's not a he's just a sex it. toy, got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, contrary to popular belief, he does need to eat food to live. Right, but he has does he d- does he count towards we the paid him yet. <laughs> hmm? Does he's he count part of the ship, he counts. Okay. Part of the ship, part of the crew. That's why I was Am saying I seven. Am I working in the wrong fucking place? That too, actually. I will tell you for free. Oh my god, I was. Yeah, especially if you if you accrue more NPC crewmates. If you tell them that rations have to come out of their paycheck. Yeah, that's gonna <laughs> prepare prepare for a roll initiative. Like. <laughs> oh oh my god! Work every day and they don't give me food. Where or working kitchens like I do. Where the fuck yeah. can I drag rations onto my fucking character sheet from? Um, I the compendium. Before. I thought it was in the compendium, but I yeah. searched for rations and nothing okay. popped up. Well, hmm. go go if you, you go in the uh, your adventuring gear, and then uh, I am in my gears tab. Is that what you mean? No, no, no. no so the, go to the, the com- compendium tab. Uh huh. And in the player options folder, you go down to Sundered Skies adventuring gear. It should say adventure, period, 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 because it can't fit at all. I then... don't have that. Oh, wait, yeah, here we go. Okay. Fuck, thank you. And then there's a, and there, options. there's a food section, and it's in there. Thank you, God. Okay. All right. So, it's if it's ten cogs a person, then it's seventy cogs. Okay, and then water as well, because you know that uh, the, so the ten includes stuff. the water. Oh, so okay. here's it. So, so hold on. Um, you could buy water. Uh, or um, you could wait for the next rain cycle which are common on plenty and just leave your barrels out you know that's a better idea that is a better idea yeah yeah uh counterpoint we want to buy buy like a little bit of water just in case it's like not as heavy of a rain as we expect it to be it will be we can always buy water afterwards though that's true too yeah okay i want to remind you so the rain that, you, that this island gets is not a natural rain because it's not a natural occurring world. Everything's fucked. Gotcha. The rain is the the island passing through the orbit of the runoff falls. So a giant waterfall oh. is going to the water from a waterfall is going to splash down on the island. It's rain because like you know as the water hits like objects through the air and you know falls down. It's not as thick, but you will get a heavy rain. This place. Oh. Again, look, this this picture, aside from the fact that there's houses, and aside from the fact that the sky is gray, not yellow, this picture is what plenty looks like. It is the it is the called the breadbasket for a reason, right? You yeah, will you it. will get some water if you just put water barrels out. Cool. Yep, yeah, I'm good with that. Probably should just put them leave them out on your ship, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. That way you're not. That's what GI's doing right now. Oh, yeah, after they run, they rendezvous with you about after getting their booze, and uh, they're like, yeah, I'll put some barrels out. All right, so I don't mind subtracting the 35 cogs from my uh, allotment if you want me to. Sure. Whichever. Okay. All right, so everybody Leaf just to make say, this... Leaf does say, sorry, real quick, Dev, feel free to use their funds if needed. They said they have a good chunk. Okay. Um, oh, just bad. to make it easier for everybody so we're not trying to calculate this later, 
Just make sure everybody has five rations and five quarts of water in their consumables. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. And then we only need to worry about the 196 cogs to theoretically <laughs> stock up enough to get to Atrium. 196 cogs each, rather. Yeah, and I've... And again, that's that's if you straight shot to Atrium. Correct. Yeah. And not stop at another island. Um, Is that for food and water or just food, though? What, the, co the, the 196? Yeah. That's for food and water to yeah, get us yeah. once, from Plenty to Atrium. Once you leave Plenty, man, it ain't gonna be like raining all the time, barely. Mm. The only other place... Um, uh, like, understand that most other islands get their water imported. Mm. And not even from Plenty. Plenty just gets rain. So, like, the people there are good. But like you know, it's rain. They can't really do anything about it. What they what where water actually comes from for the rest of the skies is the ice mines in the upper. I'm blanking on what it's called, but like the the draining sea, the ice mines of the draining sea, uh, mm -hmm. chunks of ice get fucking just carved out, bagged up, sent out. As they travel, they melt the water, and. So there you go. I'm Canadian now. Here's your bag of water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, th these are five quarts of water. Yes. Yes. Just making sure I got the measurement correct. So Nibble only has th thirteen cogs. The fuck have you bought? <laughs> <laughs> I bought a wind charm for Cora, or for Corbin. That's true. I do have a wind charm. I will. I will. I will pay for your stuff. I've got six hundred and twenty-five on me. Thanks, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Leaf. I forgot. Uh, Gray asked for his first paycheck. They, ha you guys, had no salvage to pay him with, and he just took the fuck. <laughs> he took the fucking as a payment. <laughs> Based. Yeah. Uh. That's an important detail. Uh. It's a very important detail. You are correct. Rock mesh top. I, I have a question about important detail. Did they? Uh, practice safe sex. Uh, yes. Rockmesh is responsible. Lame. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> no pregnancies on the ship. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Absolutely not yet. You just like hear like, and then Rock is like, you guys wearing a condom in there? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come in here or not, dude? <laughs> oh. You want to get in on this or not? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's so funny. Hold on, let me. I, I gotta give. I gotta give both of you one for that. Nice. <laughs> okay, who's the one you yeah, spit roasted though? Rock, rock, mushroom. Okay, Great. That's a that's a little deep. <laughs> you don't even. <laughs> what? You don't need to go into that much detail, my guy. <laughs> Uh, once anyway. once again, Zach gets roasted for something I do all the time, uh, and yeah. and you probably shouldn't have uh, let in with like you don't have to get that deep with it. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> oh. wait, sorry, it's my bad. bad. What, what's happening? Why are you sitting in your bed? Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. I gave that to you because it was funny when you knocked on the wall. No, 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 I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. Uh, my my gifts. All right, anyways. <laughs> um all right so shenanigans are happening there um uh water and food is presumably bought um do are are we teaching corbin of the art of stealing shit i mean i'm not because I yeah i i know you ain't but i'm talking okay when i say we i mean nibble <laughs> <laughs> Nibble wasn't the one who initiated this. Nibble I was said that. I said that entirely out of character. Oh. oh well, I didn't know that. Who's teaching this bird child to steal items, or were we not doing that? It's now a good time to mention that the bird child has a D eight in thievery. <laughs> You're gonna teach them shit they already know how to do. <laughs> They're probably even like a hundred years better than you. You're fucking teaching us how to steal. What yeah, the the, <laughs> yeah. You, you should be writing the symposium. What the fuck? Corbin, teach us how to steal. 
God, teach me how to doggy. Fuck. The thing is that Corbett doesn't understand the social implications of stealing. Like, Corbett has has stolen in the sense of taking stuff from ruins, etc. But I don't think Corbett has ever actually like stolen from a person. Mm. That's shiny. I like shiny. Corbin does like shiny. This is true. Okay, I feel like this will be a slippery slope then, so I say we should just not do it. <laughs> Pussies. <laughs> Nibble is not going to be responsible for Corbin going to jail. <laughs> do you want to get banned from the trade council? Do you want to get a fist to the face from a very angry orc? Yeah, yes, I, yes, yes, I do, says Gray. Oh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> that made me show my pop-up. Um, uh, Lee says Rock Mish Pegs. Uh, yeah. I think that um, Corbin does want to look for while they're, uh, while they're, where they're shopping is an instrument that he can learn how to Ooh. play. Ooh, okay. Aww. Okay. So you're looking to one to purchase to learn how to play? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. That's so that's such a charming thing to ask after all that fucking debauchery we just discussed. Anyways. Uh, um super, and then super, there's kind of the it, there's kind of the uh added bonus of Corbin being able to physically play the instrument because Corbin only has three fingers on each hand. So right. things like a flute are gonna be out. Uncommon certain instruments may be rare or more. Ooh. And I, the base oh. cost is five, but it should be, it, it's implied that the cost would also be possibly right. more, depending on what you want. But uh, is a flute what you want? No, he can't play a flute. Right. I always oh, see what you're saying yeah, with your fingers. So what, no, 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 no. what, are, no what, idea. what kind of, well, okay, I'm sure you do, but what is Nana's idea? Um, what, like, what were you looking for as an instrument? I would. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Hmm. Hag pipes core types into the chat. God, no, not hag pipes. <laughs> I would. I would suspect that Corbin actually has very minimal understanding of what constitutes an instrument. <laughs> so it would probably be oh, closest no. to whatever Cora has as an instrument. What is Cora's instrument again? Please remind me. Uh, I can't remember. Let me check. Please be uh, a flute. I, I never wrote anything down. I oh. just took a musical instrument. So we're going to go with whatever the GM says it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Make a decision. A timpani set. Good what? God. God, that just reminds who was the one? Was it in our group or oh, I can't remember if it was in our group or if it was in a different group where somebody had the bo the bard that played a deconstructed timpani. No, that was that you was guys, Cora. You guys know what a timpani is, right? No, I'm a dumbass. Kettlebells, right, yeah, big gigantic the drums, big ass <laughs> drums, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, you're about time to do that now. Yeah, the ones. Oh where no, that was Titan and. The skin to change the tone. Yeah. Uh, All right. Does Rogmesh want, or excuse me, does uh, Corbin want a timpani then? A timpani set. There's like four of them in a. Yeah. You wanna, <laughs> no. They're, are, and they're are, bigger than the crow. Are you yeah. guys really aligning up for having a child with a drum set in the fucking <laughs> top of the ship? <laughs> Honestly, I'm fine with it. Yes. Yeah, whatever Corbin. the fuck he wants to do. Oh, no. You know what? Let's make it extra annoying. What are those fucking tambourine is that what they are yeah the, the yeah. big fucking annoying ass with the little bells the, around it yeah with the little yeah. like the little yeah. uh symbols and you go tip yeah 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 you want yeah, 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 that? yeah yeah tambourine okay. we'll call that uncommon uh okay hey, so mr tambourine so that's bro. just a, a flat persuasion roll to see if you find you can source one hell yeah crit fail let's go <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my god really oh shit oh shit Damn. why wow um 
When they're all like that, do they just get for free? Why? So. No, you're too small. You can't have one. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. You may, with a 21, you have a choice. You can pay five for a temp for a tambourine, or you can pay 15 for a... So the tambourine, the normal tambourine would be like kind of made of wood and mm -hmm. they don't, they sound fine, but they're not really great. Like the symbols are like shells, right? Uh, but then your eye goes to this very nice looking one, like the, um, this, the, the skin covering the front to make the, the part that you hit it looks very refined and nice. Right, the, the the basic one that's five cogs is like kind of rough. You're like you can you can tell it's animal skin, uh, but this one's nice. It's got nice finished burnished like handle wood for the circle, and instead of shells or other little click clacky things that can only hope to mimic uh, the sound, there are real metal symbols lining the thing. And that'd be 15 cogs for that. Are the metal symbols shiny? Fuck yeah, dude. Oh yeah, we're going for that one. Alright. You said it was 15? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I'm assuming that there's no musical instrument to drag onto the character sheet. I can just... There is, but it's literally called musical instrument, so feel free to just type in okay. tambourine if you want. More like a placeholder than anything. Uh, I don't think that counts as a weapon. As funny as that would be. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'd let you, I'd let you whap somebody with it as an improvised weapon. Can't confirm, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. The reason it's so pricey is because it's made of human. It's they're walking they're... around the fucking they're walking around the fucking market and Corbin just has this tambourine and is just playing it in time with chorus steps and then tries to play it for nipple steps, but it's so much faster. That's fuck <laughs> that's so fucking cute. <laughs> that's so goddamn cute, have a binny. Um Okay. Well you guys are doing that. I think that's all the errands we wanted, right? Yeah. I like how I yeah. coupled yes. everything under errands given what happened. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, hey, is there any reason, um, that Rock would go downstairs to the lobby of the inn, or maybe when, uh, or maybe Rock Mesh when you guys are done? Yeah, I should go down and get, like, some water and, you know. An energy drink, go for round two. <laughs> True. Rock would be willing to go downstairs and get whatever. Uh, Gray, like, not, like, in love. Like, you guys don't know <laughs> each other, right? But, like, he kind of pats your face lovingly, you know? Like, this is a this is a good time. This is good energy. Uh, Duh. Uh, you would awkwardly meet Rock <laughs> on the steps as he is also going downstairs for... Good yeah, for... <laughs> for drinks or whatever. Um, and you guys hear a gentleman just kind of not like freaking out, but like spinning tails very vigorously. And most people are like not really listening to him. Um, okay, I say old guy, I but he's not old at all. I looked at his picture, I'm like, whoops, he's not. Um, <laughs> he's but. You see, but he is being pretty uh, energetic about it. You see this gentleman. Uh, just, a, just a small reminder that humans in Sundered Skies are all uh, black and brownish. Uh, so it was nice to actually find a picture to fit that. Yeah. Uh, but he is, he is like, he... People are passing by. He's trying to talk to anybody who will listen, right? Mm -hmm. Um Okay. And he's like, I, I, I'm telling you, all, I, 
I'm the I'm the only one who made it out. But there's there's treasure out there in the swamp. I'm I we we found it. We I we know I know it's out there. I just I, you you he's not talking to you guys. He's talking to me. You you, you right. look capable. Like I, I'll I'll cut you in, please. And he's going on about how there's there's well he doesn't say gold, but he says treasure. He says there's treasure out there in the swamp. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Rock uh, looks at Rogmesh for a second to see what Rogmesh is thinking. Uh, Rogmesh definitely kind of perks up at the sound of treasure and kind of like just kind of like looking the guy up and down, like, okay, hmm. Aside from the just kind of. Yeah, I mean, aside from the fact yeah. that he's popping off, you like you see the picture. He doesn't look like. Yeah, he's not like. Yeah. So. Kind of like we... leans on, leans on the bar, and is kind of like still kind of listening, but still like asking for like the water and stuff. Like still kind of like like curious enough, but not yeah. yet ready to approach. He, he continues. The man continues his tale. He's like, we found cogs, and, and not just normal cogs. Cogs made of other kinds of metals, uh, precious. He's like, listen, like we we would have had them. It's just we were attacked by water elementals, and I was the only one that made it out. Please, I f- for the honor of my friends and 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 for for the money. Pl- anybody out there? Uh, it's like he's <laughs> he's he's really scrambling to get some a crew for this uh, thing. But like most people, first of all, most people are like farmers, so they're like, nah, I'm good. The few yeah. who look capable are like. Bud, you're off your rocker. Uh, there's a few people who work there. They're like, sir, this is a Wendy's. You know, like, it's yeah. <laughs> it's that kind of... Uh, uh, some people, though, jokes aside, are getting a little shifty because he's getting pretty animated, and you know what that means. Yeah. It's a cartoon. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> waka waka! Uh, like... <laughs> uh, Rock Mesh will look at Rock and just kind of go, what do you think? I gonna talk to they could think it's worse talking to him. Well, can't hurt to talk to him at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Rock shrugs and heads over with Rog Mesh, I guess, if we both want to do that. Yeah. Noise. As as I'm in like not complete like not not you know probably like in like a nice like bathrobe or something. <laughs> Still like you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, Rock's gonna be like, Hey, what are you selling? Oh, uh, an opportunity for, for riches. Mm-hmm. I just need a capable, tough crew because my, my poor brothers in arms, um, when we did our last expedition there, horrible water elementals, um, attacked us and and I was the only one that made it out but I if we if I could just get some capable hands we could we could make it out there with all the with all the pressure you know split it evenly I'm just looking for anybody to listen yeah yeah okay okay uh you said it was like cogs that were made out of a kind of different metals and different things like that is that like what do you mean by that (laughs) um I know it's strange but there's cogs made of like um I know this is gonna sound stupid uh I I dropped when we hit when we hit the just the we went there on, on rumors uh, that we heard uh, from another island about uh, dip, uh, cogs from the old times from from the uh, how do I put this earlier in the trade council's life they experimented with minting different kinds of cogs you know so uh, you know 
the cogs we use nowadays are one to one, right? And that's right, it. Right. But they would have cogs that cost five, cogs that cost ten, I guess. I'm not sure. And but they nixed that because a waste of material, right? You're you're you're, you're that metal could be going to something else. Um, yeah. And it sounds like a complicated math system too. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and um, someone said that there. Uh, someone had a one of my contacts had a lead on something that might that was here on plenty uh, related to we found a small ca- cache of them like a couple of regular cogs but I did have one of the silver ones right in my hand and we were about to dig more and I'm sorry I, I don't have it as proof because I dropped it because we were attacked by some damn water elementals Mm-hmm. Okay. And hmm. I was the only one who made it. How many were in your crew? There were uh, four others. Yeah. Was that was that you hesitating or him hesitating? That was me hesitating. Gotcha. Just making sure. And were your others? trained soldiers or were they also farmers and the like like that are uh, here uh, no we we don't come we're not natives to this uh island but uh oh. they were sailors like me capable of the sword but i mean those were monsters mm-hmm, mm-hmm. water elementals I, I i gathered yeah they were they, yeah, were, they were watery okay well you know first off you know sorry for your loss that's uh thank you you know uh I mean, we've got we got a couple other crew members milling about somewhere else. Uh, I could we could bring this to their attention, see if it's something that they'd be interested in going and doing. Um, can't guarantee it, you know. We're we're kind of on our own little uh, mission, so, sort so to speak, and timing and everything like that. But you know, if we get a little bit more money out of it, that you know. Could help. If, if if we hit the jackpot, you'll get a lot more money out of it. Okay. Interesting. And I have... Ugh. And I feel like... I mean, we, we already dug a little bit out before we got attacked. If, if we could just dig a little deeper, I feel... There's 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 more there for sure. Uh, Do you remember how many of these uh, water elementals there were that attacked you? Uh, there were... Um, five, one for each of us, and although, I mean, one was probably enough to dig us out. We, we, we've been in scraps, and we've we've risked our lives. That's the nature of being a a sky sailor and a scavenger. But oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But damn, like uh, we we didn't know how to handle this, and we were my friends were dispatched. Ugh. Well, well, our group it's is out. sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, our group is out right now. I, it's not really up to either of us to really make that decision, but we'll tell we'll tell them about it. That, that's all I can ask for. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Adler. Adler. Right. Uh, I'm Rogmich. This is Rock. Uh, I'm all assuming right. you'll s- stick around here. Absolutely. For a while. Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, I, I, I can get her. I'll take a room at this inn. I was just getting a bite and some drinking and trying to recruit. Um, yeah, you, uh, uh, I'll yeah. be here when uh, you let me know what your answer is. I- I'll be looking forward to hearing. Yeah, of course. No, no worries. And yeah. Uh, and then, um, you know, Rockmash is going to take out a couple, say five cogs and pass it over to say, hey, get your, get yourself a drink after all of that. You know, well, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You watch him get a drink. You see the the man working the the bar, begrudgingly give him a drink. <laughs> he gives you not a dirty look, but kind of like a like are you kidding kind of look to you, but it doesn't say anything. I choose to ignore that look. <laughs> okay. And then gonna go back upstairs and give Gray some water and. <laughs> 
probably tell him about the th the the possible job as well. And uh, just well, chill. Okay. well, if uh, if you want water, you got to go to the bar, so they can give you some water. Oh yeah, true, true. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, just saunter and then you know go up to the bar. Okay. Well, hold on. Yep. Uh, so Greg or Adler gets his drink and then he goes off back to his table. You get water, and that bartender goes. Listen, I don't mean to be nosy, but you're really going to let that guy swindle you? Oh? You don't believe his story? Water elementary... What? Elementers? What am I doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> elementary students. Uh, water elementals are servants of the life mother, and the life mother abhors taking sentient life. And she don't care too much about our finances, so... I don't know. You tell me why a bunch of water elementals who care about and worship the, the goddess of nature would care so much about some treasure. Yeah, you know. Fair point. I mean... And he, he had nothing to show for it, right? Uh, apparently not. He said he had something in his hand and then dropped it, but... He kind of puts his hand... He hands you the water and puts his hands up. He's like, listen, I ain't telling you to do your business. It no, is no, no. Is, but, you know, I'm just saying... No, I, I appreciate the insight. I mean, you know, he is just making conversation, trying to see what was going on there, but, you know. Uh, at least he's calmed down now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Here's some waters. He hands you some some grog, I guess. some Or some mead, rather. Um, mm -hmm. He said you had, a, you had a feller up there with you, right? I sure did. He gives you two. He's like, <laughs> just, just for, just for getting this dude to calm down, these two are on. Yeah, me. thanks. Dude thanks. is, dude is a word uh, in disguise, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, dude. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Thanks, Brenda. Yeah, bro. He goes, he goes. No, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for getting that guy quiet. Uh, those two are, these two are on me. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for, and thanks for the insight on that. You yeah. know, we're not, not from around these parts, so. <laughs> well. Uh, usually there ain't too many people trying to swindle around here. It's honest folk, but you know. Yeah. Nah, I hear you. Skies are, skies are brutal. Ain't it the truth. Uh, all right. Well, thanks. Nods at Gray. <laughs> or nods at, nods at Rock. <laughs> Heads back upstairs. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it took you so long. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck were you? <laughs> I can ask you the same thing. What you want? A, you want? A, you want a shorter sesh? Like I? <laughs> uh, nah. Just there was a guy downstairs talking about a uh, possible job, but a job. <sighs> yeah, apparently there's cogs out in the swamps that are made of different material, but uh, he and his Banda, whoever's got attacked by these uh, water elemental things, and he's the only one that made it out, and wanted another able-bodied crew to go with him to go get those riches. Uh, Rock and I listened to it, said, you know, yeah, we'll bring it up with our crew. It's not, you know, our position to say yes or no. Uh, but uh, plot twist: the uh, bartender kind of let us know that. These water elementals, they don't really take kindly to... They don't really care for metal and value and shit like that. They're more of, like, you know, life and stuff. So it's a little weird that... A little weird that they would attack people. So, you know, not... He seems to think this guy's a swindler. I don't... I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I... Well... Don't know enough about this place, and I don't know if it's a something that's worth the risk, but... Well, here's my thought process, if I may. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Uh, part of the crew. You guys, I'm part of the crew, but what I did not do is defeat the Bright Queen and destroy the head flagship of the Bright Cabal. That's a pretty big feat. So in, my, <laughs> so in my mind, you go with this guy, and either A, he's on the level, and you make money, or B, it's a trap, but if you guys take those dudes out, you could just roll them and maybe still get money. Or at least sell their belongings or turn them in for money. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, true. True, true. Good points. 
uh, I'll just have to wait for the others to get done doing whatever they're doing. And well, they're gonna teach Corbin how to steal stuff. So uh... they're fucking what? <laughs> oh, you didn't you didn't know? No. Oh, oh. I, I, I overheard him. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll hear about that soon. Yeah, my point was we have plenty of time, so you should, uh, if you if you got your water, I got my water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why don't, uh, why don't you get back over here? <laughs> Things are about to get wet. I have, you owe me roll one. It, roll, I'm owed roll, one roll share. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You make a fair point. <laughs> yeah, you, you make a fair point. Did you, wanna right. roll, did you actually want to roll off again? If you want to. Well, I, I'll do it for the bit, but I was just going to let it fade. No, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'll do it for the bit. All right, Zach, you got to roll. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> confirming. Confirming. Oh, no. All talking. Oh, no so game. we're not going again. So I guess we're not You're going broken. again. <laughs> You're broken. <laughs> oh man! I rolled never... a one on the second date. You do. You do have a second round, but there will not be a third. My man is asleep. <laughs> that's that's fair. Um, I really like the idea. A side note of like, <laughs> this happens right. Gray's asked out. <laughs> Ragmesh goes down to get another thing of water, and you just like start hearing quietly, but it just gets slowly, slightly louder. The tambourine <laughs> as they're going <laughs> down the street. <laughs> what a god! Hey, it's Corbin. <laughs> what a goddamn mess! She's she just, Krishna, she just Hare, Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's funny. Just... Just fucking sitting at the bar drinking and just hearing this. I'm like, uh, uh. we're gonna get some orange robes. And <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me. It's camouflage with skies. Shut up. <laughs> that's not wrong. Ah. Uh. All right, so uh, eventually the tambourine is heard coming down the street, <laughs> um, and uh, Gray still s sleeping it off in the room, but I imagine you guys all rendezvous s somewhere at the corn cob in <laughs> at the corn cob in. <laughs> Newell just looks at the sign. I don't get it. And that's because there's no joke. It's just the corn cob in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Corbin runs up to Rockmesh. It's like, look what I got! It was like violently shaking the tambourine. Yeah, I heard it. Um, it's pretty. <laughs> and just kind of looks at Cor kinda looks over at Cora like, uh. What? <laughs> you guys buy any food and water? Or like, it's not my kid. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> no, I just saw the Mimi fucking pose it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you're welcome. Um, yeah. Uh, she reaches out and pats his head like, you know what? Cool. That'll, that'll chase the border away on the ship oh do you really think I can do that well yeah I mean you've already learned a lot in the past couple of months with us so why not learn this he kind of like holds the tambourine with both of his hands and like hides his face behind it oh <laughs> my fucking god <laughs> this is a grim dark fantasy you can't <laughs> <laughs> My little brother can't be this cute. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> that's what makes the almost near death experiences more scary. That's true. Yeah, true. Like when Corbin almost died. <laughs> 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 mm. 
There are so. like four of us who have almost died at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Doing my job. So, All right. how do things go with you? Looks at Rogmash. Uh, well, some of that ain't your business. <laughs> 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 and the other half uh, might be a job. I don't know. It's still it's a little a little fishy to be honest. But I like fish. What are the fish? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna rock it. They're like, no, but there's water. Hmm. Takes a long swig of whatever. Of <laughs> <laughs> fish out and then of proceeds to <laughs> proceeds to tell them the pl- the thing, the details. I mean, it sounds like it could be something. I'm I mean. Even if it's, it's a trap. Something. Even if it's a trap, if we deal with the people who set the trap, maybe we'll get a reward? That's how that works, right? Yeah, the reward it, that we, yeah. we get from the, uh, looting their bodies. What's looting? And... It's... Yeah, what's you, looting, Nibble? It's... <laughs> when you take something from something else that's dead. Oh, we do a lot of that. Yeah. 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 Like with the shirt. Oh, that's okay. I like looting. Same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine so. that it was also said with like a little jingle of the tambourine. Like, I like looting. Uh, now, now I kind of want Nibble to get a harmonica so he can play it <laughs> with <horror>. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most I annoying get the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is actually a road trip to make a band. This ain't really about <laughs> anything else. Isn't that where, like, what's that? What's... tabletop adventure eventually goes? You just make a band. What's that fucking anime, Beck? <laughs> it's just fantasy. We're just doing fantasy, Beck. <laughs> so yeah I didn't give the guy an answer said I'd talk to the rest of y'all to figure out what we want to do with it but how far is the island from here uh it's in the swamp here so oh yeah okay don't get shit for it. that's actually better because then we don't have to worry about all of the food and water mm-hmm. yeah I mean it'll yeah. take a little bit more time out of our itinerary but you know we gotta wait if... for it to rain anyway to fill the barrels so uh, yeah, good point so... I think we should do it ding 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 okay so that's one yes or two yeses I guess with nibble I'm just picturing Corbin saying ding 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 and I appreciate it uh <laughs> uh, what do you think, Cora? Uh, well, don't have anything better to do right now. <laughs> Just... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Other than, you know, sleep. Yeah, yeah. Mash got to Where's agree. Our... Where's my yeah. friend? Uh, he's upstairs, taking a nap. Oh, okay. Should we wake <laughs> him up? I'll go wake him up. Nope. No, he, you know, let him... He's... He exerted himself quite a lot on the on the trip, so he I think he deserves a little Jedi for a bit. Oh, did he fight the shark too? Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. He was there. <laughs> you saw him. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't really remember much after getting bit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. So Guess we'll and we'll let Giat know, of course. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with it as long as we're all careful. We go into, you know, go into it thinking it's a trap, and if it isn't, then okay. Okay. All right.
Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, what do you do? Find Adler. Oh, he's easy yeah. to find. He's in. He's inside the inn. Oh, Forvin, you're so good at this. Um, let's see. <laughs> get him back. He's having a drink. Uh, when he sees y'all walk in, and he recognizes, uh, he recognizes Corbin and, uh, no, excuse me, not Corbin, uh, Rogmesh and Rock. That would be uh, wild. The double that would be so wild. Yeah. <laughs> Corbin, how long's it been? Oh man. <laughs> Time to time to stitch. Uh, anyways, uh, oh. but, uh, yeah, no, he's just he's, get stitches. Yeah, right. Um, no, he he, he gets uh, kind of giddy with anticipation. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Ragmesh and Rock. Is, is this is the rest of your crew, I presume. Yeah, all but one. But I mean, right. he's very tired and he's taking a nap. Um, understood. Uh, <laughs> he does not understand. But he, he says understood. Uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, I forgive my forwardness, uh, but what did you all decide? We're, we're in. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I'll tell you what, we will leave tomorrow morning, or excuse me, tomorrow uh, when the waking cycle begins. <laughs> What's get the, morning? Get the, Keep that, yeah, I know. Whatever. Just making up slang. Uh, making up slang. Yeah. Um, so if there's anything you need to do to prepare for the trip, it is going to be we are going to a swamp, so keep that in mind. And I, I, I'm not sure what your capabilities are, but we will probably be assailed by the water elementals again. So, um. If any of you have any knowledge about that or capabilities for that, I would prepare that as well. Hugh Corbin asking, what's a swamp? You beat me to it. I was waiting to make sure Judd was done. <laughs> Damn, I got I to give you a minute just for that. Just for like guessing. <laughs> the boy just don't know nothing. It's fine. The boy don't know nothing. The boy does not know what a swamp that is. The boy don't know nothing. Nibble kind of wants to fact check the whole water elemental thing. That's fair. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, well, he said take some time to prepare, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Nibble wants to research. Uh, you are in a island known for farming. How do you do so? <laughs> <laughs> um, ask most knowledgeable locals okay despite my uh, despite my little uh snark at the moment uh if we're talking water elementals there is the building that i'm going to tell you any second now any moment now there is the teardrop <laughs> uh which is uh the holiest of the life mother temples okay Oh, are you going to a religion place? Yeah. Corbin yeah. wants to go with. Going to a religion place. <laughs> uh, anybody else going with him? Yeah, Ragamesh will go to add along. Give Gray a break. Okay. Um. So. Um. You guys go to the teardrop. It is... Sorry, I'm trying to find a. Oh, I don't have a. Okay, I'll skip that for a picture then. Um, the temple looks like it's set upon the biggest crop field in the entirety of Plenty, bigger than even what's immediately near. The trade council establishment building it's not just for show though there are people working priests in fact working in the fields the um the teardrop building itself 
uh looks like an immaculate how do i put it it looks immaculate in the sense that it's it's larger more grandiose befitting of a temple so it does have some embellishments but it's but it's much more low-key than other temples in its aesthetics because it's trying to give off the energy and, and homage and respect to uh uh a Sorry, I gotta roll that back. I keep forgetting this is hundreds, guys. Uh the the it's built into a hillside. Uh mm. and there's a huge symbol of the life mother above the doorway, the, the teardrop symbol. And there and there are like um kind of accoutrements and 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 designs of of maybe artwork and and statues of of farmers and um just like depictions of the natural uh life uh kind of woven into the side uh the art is very interesting there's like there's like um there's religious art and symbolism like kind of um, built into the side of this hill with like wood planks and the artist like incorporates the like physical surroundings of grass and stuff around to, and intertwines it into the art so some of it is like painted and chalked and stuff like that but some of it is like actual physical grass and stuff like that and leaves and things like that to make like a very uh they don't have spring in the skies but i would say like a very spring like kind of energy right mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. Urban and, is going to reach forward and like tug on Nibble's sleeve and then just kind of really loudly stage whisper. This doesn't look as fun as Coradil's religion. No. <laughs> Every religion's different. Why are there multiple? Because there's multiple gods. Oh. Why are there multiple gods? Oh, we're doing this. That's a great question <laughs> that I will answer at a later time. <laughs> <laughs> there's multiple gods because there's multiple races and multiple types of people. It's because people can't make up their fucking minds, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Corbin just seems to be like very heavily <laughs> pondering this information as they walk up to the the temple door. There's many different theories why there are different gods, so it's a very complex subject. Corbin is pondering this very difficultly. Pondering, <laughs> pondering the sphere. All right, do you enter? Yes. Uh, you were greeted already on your way up to the door by people working in the fields. You are now let inside. It's uh, it's nice but modest. Uh, it does have the feeling of inside of a nice, hearty home. Although there's like pews and worship and things like that. Um, and you were greeted by a uh, slightly older woman, but not really old. Uh, you know, like early 60s at, at tops. Um, she has elegant robes but again kind of low-key compared to like the other uh maybe pre suit see right like they're mm -hmm. they're um they're priestly but you get the i you get the idea from the get up that uh if she was asked to at any moment she could like roll up her sleeves raise up her 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 skirt a little like she'd pull her skirt up a little hands and kind of like waltz out into the fields to get to get to work herself um and she probably has because as you get as she comes up and gre uh, greets you and takes your hands for like you know the, she does the little two handed handshake right because she's a very loving priest uh, but you can feel calluses on her hands um, so she probably has in fact done her fair share uh, of field work uh, she goes uh, welcome all of you to, to the teardrop uh, how may I help you I was wondering if you had any text I could study about the 
Life Mother. That, that was the name, right? Life Mother? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, she hands you basically the Bible. <laughs> like the Life Mother Bible. We, we were particularly looking into one of uh, her creatures, water elementals. Ah. Um, is there any particular reason why? We heard her story about them recently, and we just wanted to, uh, fact check. What was the story? I may be able to just tell you. Uh, the story was that uh, a group of adventurers were attacked by some water elementals. And that someone else said that water elementals don't really do that. So we're just mm, well, kind of going water, to the source material. Water elementals have been known to fight in defense or in defense of others. What did these adventurers do? They were uh, taking, apparently taking uh, some minerals, some different types of cogs out of the ground, according to them. And uh, were attacked by said water elementals. Cogs like our currency. Uh, yes. Sorry, you said minerals, so I was uncertain. Um, I, I can tell you right off the bat before I even hand you a book, which I still will if you want, but... Um, you never will accept the book. <laughs> but uh, water elementals... The Life Mother would care little about such things. It seems unlikely that water elementals would be there attacking. Uh, over over that I mean if water elementals have been known to uh, fight in defense of things the life mother has wanted defended like um, farms or wilderness areas uh, uh, things of that uh, farmed wilderness things of that nature but even then um, uh, it's only in defense and, and never uh, in, in, in only Browbeating things back, never taking life. Is there Mother. anything that can disguise itself like a water elemental? Or any creatures that look similar to a water elemental? Uh, well, I shouldn't have put those stats away. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's you know I don't look at my bestiary and my setup all the time, so I was like looking up stats for providers, and instead they just have like a priest stat, and I guess you just dress it up. Mm. Mm. I mainly wanted a picture, but I don't have a good picture for a provider priest. Let's see, uh, where is? I'll have I'll have her roll fate. At least I think I will. I'm clicking that and do I have to import her? Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, okay, I had to import her. Uh, remind me your question. If there's anything that could disguise itself as a water elemental or could be mistaken for a water elemental. Um, as far as disguising, um, there are magics that can change you into a water elemental or similar, or, or really into a lot of things. Um, things that could be mistaken for a water elemental? Uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, there are hybrid elementals that where uh the boundaries of nature cross but um but i've never seen them on plenty and i i don't think you could mistake a water i, could, I don't think you could mistake any of them for a water elemental uh, hmm. anything in particular that might live in like the swamps per se the swamps it's they said they were in the swamps when they were attacked by water elementals. I don't know what attacked them, but if this happened in the swamp, it was definitely not water elementals. Okay. Interesting. And I would suggest Any... you, you end your investigation here if you intend to go into the swamp. It's a very dangerous place. 
What dangers are in the swamp? <sighs> well, there's the the terrain in the swamp itself. Water elementals. I've <laughs> I've heard reports of there being uh undead. Um Yeah, we stay away from that place for a lot of good reasons. So no one really goes out there. And if this adventuring group uh, you talked about, if this story is true, then there's a good example. Mm-hmm. The, hmm. more, the more detail you, the more details you've given me, uh, the more I can see if these people were attacked in a swamp. I and if it was because they were digging treasure, I I don't know what attacked them, but I don't think it was water elementals. Hmm. There's plenty of horrible things in that swamp, though. Ah, interesting. Alright. We appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us. I appreciate you coming to visit. Um, If you would, do you mind leaving a donation for the temple? And she has like a, a little plate. Damn, y'all got real atheists on me. Fuck. <laughs> like, what? Hello? Am I disconnected? Hold up. Hello? Hey, why are we? Everyone? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? What the fuck just happened? And we have been able to hear you. I. That was so weird. Like, literally nothing <laughs> changed on my screen. Nothing. Like, I was. Okay, so you could hear me. Yeah, I couldn't hear any yeah. of you. Huh. It, like. Weird. That's why I said, "Damn, you got real. You got real atheist." Because like I said that donation thing, and you were. It was dead silence. <laughs> It was actually for a couple minutes. Holy it, yeah, for, fuck. for a little bit there. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. I, was say, uh, I mean, we could leave them a Corbin to go out with the tambourine to collect money. Corbin likes to help. Um, and Nibble will give them uh, six cogs. That's half his money. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, you're very gracious. Thank you so much. Okay, well, uh, thanks again, and, uh, uh, I don't really know what the appropriate blessing is for you and your kind, but, you know. Me and my kind, eh? She, she said, she, <laughs> she, but she says it kind of in a <laughs> playful admonishment. She doesn't get, like, yeah. pissy pissy. Yeah. Hey. She puts a hand up and goes, it, it's no worries. You want to know about my kind? Just have a wonderful day and may the life, may the life mother provide all that you need. You as well. And Thank also you. with you. And, and also with you. <laughs> <laughs> the blood of body of Christ. Like, <laughs> um, uh, and but, yeah. uh, Nib- Nibble holds the Bible and like, can I take this with me? No. <laughs> oh, can I buy a copy? <laughs> you can come and study if you want to read it so badly. As she takes the book from you gently and nicely. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, and we just head off. Yeah, the printing press does not exist in this world. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think six cogs would be enough to buy a book any a book right now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, nothing. I was just saying we got this knowledge now. Mm-hmm. Anything else anybody else wanna do? 
Nope. Nope. Okay, so you, the next uh, beginning of the waking cycle, you guys meet uh, with Adler. He goes, all right, the, the dig site is two days into the swamp. So I hope you're all ready for that, but I think we will pull through and be quite a bit richer when this is all said and done. Mm hmm. Okay, so. Uh, on the. Whoops. What? Oh, because I'm in the. I'm because I put the right. Uh. Oh, why am I looking in this PDF when I can just use the shit I've uploaded onto Foundry? on the first day of travel into this one actually i forgot i have uh, let's do this first Ooh. a swamp does it say swamp no. it's a swamp oh but god that's very funny <laughs> yeah. the fear i felt uh all right Give me un momento. The swamp of Penty. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not a bad name. Jamothy had the same wavelength that I did. For what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Donkey. Donkey. Okay. okay. Uncle Shrek, what are you doing here? Uncle, holy shit. <laughs> What's all Trying this to thing? be alone. What are you doing here? <laughs> Oops, not plus. Uh, minus. And this is where you say some guy back in town. <laughs> it's true. Uh, do, 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 do. Or, I'm assuming Gray came with them. No, nah, man, oh. he was asleep. I did it. <laughs> We didn't wake him up. Uh, no, no, no he did. He's, you fucking broke him. He's back. To, he's back at the ship. <laughs> he's oh. recovering. Okay. He's someone, <laughs> some, someone's got to watch it. Someone's got to watch. Wobbles home. Someone's got to watch it with Giot uh, slash maybe retroactively without Giot, uh, and make sure you know no one tries any shenanigans. <laughs> uh, where is? Encounters, god damn it. There we are. We don't need any encounters, it's fine. Uh, I drew a face card, so yes, you do. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, I'm going to say you get a freebie because. Uh, the two types of creatures that they do list. So I forgot they only list two in this fucking plenty for some reason. Uh, I don't feel like would be in the swamp. So there you go. Ooh, uh, you dodged. Yep. You you tromp your way through this swamp. It is not fun, but at least you're not accosted. Uh, you do, however, because you are walking across an island all day you do have to give me um glow madness. uh glow madness checks and let's see you are walking all day maybe not literally all day but uh let me break open okay so I, I probably, yeah, I would say 7 to 12 hours sounds correct for just a two-day trip if you're walking for one day. Uh, and that's a plus zero, so... Uh, How long does it take before Corbin gets the tambourine taken away from him? That's a different role entirely. 
I want everyone to roll spirit. This except is not, for me? But no, uh, well, no, except for you, but this is not your glow madness roll yet. Okay. Let's see. Would anybody like to binny? Yep. Again, this is sure. not your glow madness yep. roll. Okay. Nice. So Rock gets a 7 5 from Cora, Nibble a 10. Uh, I still had my shit set to private, but Adler is good. Uh, uh, Rock, I don't know why you spent that bin you. You had succeeded prior. Uh, oh, well, I mean, you, you didn't say that. You just said that we would like to spend a bin, and I didn't think I did. Oh, uh, unless the spirit test is from earlier. No, it says 40 seconds ago. Uh, all right, so, uh, it is stupidly fucking annoying, this goddamn uh tambourine. But uh none of you but you are able to endure the constant ding 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 coming from it. Uh and so you will not get penalized for your uh glow badness roll. Now everyone can roll their actual glow badness roll. Remember you do get plus two from being within Korra's aura. Unless I decide no. And that's just <laughs> spirit plus two. Unless they decide no. Do you decide no? I, I do not decide. Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't have been fortuitous. You would have been fine. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nibbler. You Nibbles take... being affected by the tambourine. You take two <laughs> glow madness. Two uh, glow mad levels. Oh, what's that put me at? Yes. Uh, did you have any before? I did, but I don't. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. It should be in a little box at, towards the bottom. Oh my! Did you did you change it already? I changed my glow madness level. Like just now? Yeah. Woo, okay, because I saw the two, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> okay." No, 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 no. All Nib right, nibble sticking around. Damn it. So let me now give you. Uh, let me just make sure I I did this correctly. So minus one to his precision rolls. Minus one to spirit rolls. Minus two to his spirit. Uh, so much, okay. Yeah, I gotta replace it. Oh, uh, we fucked up. You had that glow madness level, but I never actually put glow madness the hindrance on you. That's funny. All right, well, yeah, not this time. Here, have a glow madness angry. Yay! Oh. Uh, Angie. So even though, uh, even though nibble, that tambourine didn't give you a penalty. You critically failed, and now you're angry. Do you respond at all about the fucking tambourine? No, my annoyance is coming from these gnats and mosquitoes. In the All swamp. right. Well, we'll see about tomorrow. Uh, okay. Otherwise, though, you guys uh, bunker down for the day. Um, I imagine you have your uh, roll-up bags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh what oh, dear. wait what was that uh, oh. uh, that's my that's my check to see who Corbin <laughs> winds up bunking with and it's Coradil again yay yeah, da, da, da. <laughs> and the tambourine and the tambourine <laughs> um 
He's just okay. enjoying himself. He's just fighting off the glow madness. He's just fighting off the glow madness. He's just fighting off the glow madness. <laughs> On the second day, you're charging through the swamp. I need everyone to make notice minus two rolls. Oh, beans. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, great. That's a minus four for me. Uh, do I have my scavenger bonus or no? Nope, you're not in a ruin. Okay. Well, what skill test is this? Notice, notice minus, minus two. two. Gotcha. I'm gonna finish. Yeah. Might as well. We we have like twenty five minutes left. What so. is what is what is Scavenger says precisely though? I guess let me ask you. Uh, that. you know what? That's a great question. Let me look. A lot of guy. Let me attempt to look while there's a million fucking dice <laughs> on my screen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, here we go. I'll hold off on a <laughs> oh God, the Benny went right over where I need to look. Scavengers <laughs> gain a plus two bonus to notice rolls in a ruin and a ten percent to their chances of finding a relic. Okay, yeah, so no, you would not get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, well. <laughs> um. <laughs> Four or three. You know what? I'll I will can't... guess I'll take a three. It's better than okay, a one. Finally. But it still won't do me nothing. Okay. <laughs> we do one more. Then I'll be done. Okay, there we go. Well, that it's minus, minus two, well, so it's a three. Okay. Fine, I'll just take it. So... We got three, uh, Rog fails with a three. Cora succeeds with a six. Uh, God, there's so many cards. Uh, <laughs> Nibble fails with a three. Rock fails with a zero. I hope I didn't yeah. miss. Yeah, okay. Uh, and. I got a four. Jesus Christ. You got a four? <laughs> Corby got a four. Uh, Adler got a five. So... Hey, quick, let's roll more dice. <laughs> uh, let me read this real quick. Okay. So now, out of all of you who failed, I need you guys to each roll, and you can use the dice tray at the bottom to do this, because this is just a luck check. I need you all to roll just a flat D8. So if you uh, so if you don't know how to use the dice tray, you just click the D8 at the bottom, and then you click roll. We got nibble. Uh, we got rock. I'm just waiting for rock. Rock. I rock. did. Or er, I thought I did. Did uh, not take. I don't think it took. Okay, well, let's try it again. There, we are. there, there you go. go. Was there a fourth one? I'm. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Or was that just you three? I think it was just us three. Okay. It's yeah, just the yeah, three of them. Ah, Nibbler. The fact that it's you just kind of funny. Uh, what? <laughs> so you guys are trudging along, and Nibble suddenly you fall, you plunge into mud, up to your neck, and you what? begin sinking. Uh, oh. so. He will Corbin starts squawking in panic. He will sink in one round because he's small, unless he's extracted. So, uh, here's what the rules say: the trapped hero can make a strength minus four to pull themselves out. I will also accept athletics. A success stops them from sinking any further, while a raise pulls them out. On a critical failure, the character is sucked under and immediately begins drowning, as per the Savage World's rules. Another hero can come to the aid of the of his sinking comrade. All it takes is a successful strength roll to drag the unfortunate being from the quick from the quicksand. Again, I will take athletics as well. On a critical failure, the helpful hero is pulled in and begins sinking as well. Corbin is absolutely going to try and help. Once a character is under the surface, he cannot extricate himself and must be dragged out by his allies in order to find. The character, those searching for him, must first make a notice at minus two. Hauling a submerged character out requires a strength slash athletics minus two roll. Again, because man's a small, you have one round. Is Ooh. there um Sl is so, there a penalty for the strength roll to, to help him out of the pool? Um What did it say? I don't think it, it uh it does not. It's it's a it's it, it, you get a penalty once he's under. 
Uh, uh, can multiple people do it? Uh, nope. Especially okay. like, motherfucker, get up. But, okay. but, we can do assist. However, I just saw Corbin roll five. It's so. like, yeah. Nana just rolled, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Corbin's uh, like, you get up here and listen to my song. Cor yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> Friendship. So, yeah, what is it? Uh, uh, describe what this looks like when you save uh, Nibble from drowning in quicksand, basically. Uh, Corbin has squawked an alarm and immediately thrust both arms into the quicksand, tambourine included wraps his arms around uh, <coughs> Nibble and pulls him back up out of the muck of the swamp uh, and much to the relief of everybody in the party the muck of the swamp has gotten in the symbols of the tambourine and prevented it from clanking for the rest of the day oh no Wow. Mm. don't worry I know how to fix that that doesn't pull me out that just makes me stop sinking right no it pulls you out okay ha <sighs> Oh, <laughs> it's 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 it, it's kind of generous for the first part. It's if you fail the first part, then it gets really dicey. Okay. Um. You, you okay there, Devil? No. Probably, Needed probably, a mud bath. Yeah. <laughs> I almost drowned in liquid earth. The fuck! <laughs> Just dig your way out. I was actually planning to do that if this failed, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, on the bright side, maybe the mud will keep the bugs from you? Does the mud keep the bugs from me? <laughs> yeah, I would say. Okay. He asked God. <laughs> <laughs> Is this true? Well, there's that at least. God, that's funny. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's keep going and watch our footing. Are there any, like, streams or anything? Well, we're in a swamp. There's obviously water somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fucking nasty. N Nibble, knowing that the, the mud will keep the bugs off him, he willingly keeps the mud on him. Uh, Cora, what'd you want, is, what'd you want to achieve with water, though? Oh, I'm just gonna, you know, rinse off the tambourine. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You choose violence, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tambourine kind of stinks now because it was put in swamp water, but it is cleaned from dirt. Oh, and man. Mud. Yeah. It smells <laughs> like friendship. Cor <laughs> Corbin is like alternating between playing the tambourine to somebody's foot, like footsteps, changes every time, but also trying to get the mud off of his feathers. Thankfully for all of you. Uh, that doesn't last too much longer as not even a, about half a day of travel gets you uh, in, at a point where Adler goes, oh, it, it, it's here. Here's the dig site. Finally. You might need to zoom in. It's like a, it's a big map. Rock's like, the music changed. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, hmm. All right, so, um, Adler leads you to the spot. Um, you do see, uh, so I, I need to, I need to, I need to retcon his story a little bit, just detail wise. I was shooting off the cuff and forgot some shit. Uh, it's not, it's not multiple different kinds of metal for these cogs. Uh, you see a little bit of a few cogs on the ground like normal like he described you didn't see one larger iron cog engraved with a stylized gym in its center so there's only one type of special cog but boy it is a special looking cog um carbon's gonna beeline over to it uh <laughs> very shiny all right can can Rogmesh try to stop them Roll versus mimic. Uh, make uh, agility rolls against each other. Is that how this works? For what? For for air quotes grapple checks. Oh yeah, you're right. You should do. Yeah, uh, you should do grapple. Yeah, because there's a grapple in the quick access thing. Yeah. Uh, athletics. Okay. Uh, 
Can I also? Um, I'm gonna Benny that. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not gonna Benny that. That's I mean, a poor success. It's a success. We're fine. Does it ask you to like? Do they have to resist or something? Probably. Uh, side matter. Da, 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 grappling. Opposed roll between attacker and defender. If the attacker wins, the foe is entangled. With a raise, he is bound. But it's an opposed roll. Yeah. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be based on what? Ah, I see. Yeah. So. Okay. I I thought I thought you were clicking the card. Oh. Ah. Okay. So for for the future, if you're gonna use the grapple action, I would click. You would actually click the grapple action button. Oh, um, gotcha, gotcha. And um. I thought I... And because uh, you see on the card that that Corbin put in, there's the, there's your roll, and then you can click on someone and make them do the opposed roll. Uh, you can also crush people to death. That's the third option if you have someone. <laughs> but you know, Ooh. all right, okay, just cool. in case. Uh, but yeah, Corbin beats the roll and uh, Rod knows about ready. Slips through, slips through their fingers. Uh, so here, let me let me do this. Um, let's say I'm gonna slide y'all back a little. Oh, Giot's not here. Sorry, Giot. At least for now. Maybe retroactively they return. Uh, put Adler a little at the front since he was kind of showing near the way. Uh, we'll put Rognish back here. And then, uh, Corbin, you can stay put. Yeah, because you slip out of their fingers and you head towards this little, this little patch. Which little patch? <laughs> it's not depicted, but around here, roughly. Okay. Like center of this mass. It's mimics. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, did there. you did you just draw something? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just put that there. Oh, thank you. Oh. Sorry. There we go. All right. So, what do you do when you get there? Uh, I'm going to oogle the shiny thing, and then I'm assuming it's like not fully excavated, right? No, it, it, it's kind of as he said. There's like they dug in a little bit. And then got chased off. Um, I would like to look about it for anything that might have <clears throat> triggered the water elemental. So like a like a trap or something. Uh, roll notice. Sorry, I was checking, looking up something quick. Um, sorry, I'm pausing just to make sure you want to, if you want to bend here or not. If you like your no, result. you're good. Okay, I'm gonna keep uh, up. You, you don't see anything. You're pretty hard pressed to think what would what kind of trap could be set in a fucking swamp that would release water elementals too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, like it's just a muddy, dirty spot. I'm gonna touch the gemstone. Shiny as hell. Huh. Uh I'm gonna call back to the rest of the group. I don't really see anything bad. This is kind of cool though. That's I don't think it. I've ever seen a cog like this. Yeah, that's it. That's that's one of the cogs I was talking about. Nibble wants to come over and investigate. You said there's writing on it, right? I said there's a stylized... What did I say? What did the book say? <laughs> what did I say? Uh, <laughs> each, uh, their iron, instead of the normal, like, copper or whatever they're using. Uh, I think they're copper, normally. Uh, but their iron... And they're each engraved with a stylized gym in their center. How are they bigger than normal cogs, or are yes. they like yes? How much bigger is it? Like a baseball size, or like mm, like e maybe a little less than a baseball, but like if, okay, if we if we assume like. If we assume a cog is like a slammer, mm -hmm. uh, I hope I'm not dating myself with that. 
You uh, are, but that's okay. Then <laughs> this thing would be like this the size this would be the circumference of I would say like maybe like a a, a glass a little glass stand you'd put out on tables so that you know shit don't get wet. Yeah, coaster. But a coaster, thank you. Uh, it'd be it'd be like the circumference of a coaster, but maybe but obviously with more heft and width to the because it's a it's a cog. I'm gonna pick up one of them. Oh, I thought you already had it. Did I was you... observing it carefully first before I picked oh, it up. Okay. Uh, well, you, you pick it up and we're still we are still the status quo is the same as what I, even when I thought. Um, it's it's got a little more heft. It's got a little gym inside of it uh no wonder no wonder they stopped making these it really would have been like uh in a post-apocalyptic <laughs> situation would have been like a big waste of materials uh, i'm gonna turn to nibble and go does this look like anything you've seen uh have i seen some of this before can i roll in academics yeah Oh, exploded. I would say Hello. I would say yes, but the uh you but there's no new information to glean from it. You you knew pretty much what Adler knew. That these were like these are cogs that were distributed hundreds and hundreds of years ago cuz the, the the situation in the sky has been going on for like centuries, right? right. Um so long long ago they did this and then they were like actually this sucks wasting all this material so they stopped i mean it's basically an artifact of its time at this point you do know i, I will tell you this though you do know that one that one of these is worth five regular cogs oh so it is worth more um it would still hold its worth because it's still material um as far uh Meta game wise, uh, whenever when I tell you the total of these iron cogs, don't you don't have to separate. This isn't D and D. We're not doing iron <laughs> cog. To, just you know, I'll give you an amount and just flavor wise, you have iron cogs amongst gotcha. your cogs. But um, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, there's literally no system for it at yeah. all. The, like you the know, accountant appreciates this. Yeah, and we we, we, and we, did, we, we did we did we did enough with the food in the water. I I. We literally don't need to track that. Um, um Corbin's gonna kinda like make a like a a face of like deep understanding that Nipple clearly would have knowledge in this area. And then turn back to the rest of the group and go, Mr. Adler, how did you know to dig here? Oh, we had uh I, I got I got a tip from a contact about a possible treasure here. Hmm. By the way, since it's 953, I'm just gonna drag Giot back. Yeah. Because like yeah, they're yeah. they're they're gonna be here for this next part. <laughs> yeah, but who? Well, I, I I contact you you where you want me I I can tell you the name of a man you're never gonna meet if you want. I don't know. Or are you looking to At do least further you didn't business? Know it's a man. Unless I don't know, well, if the information's good, I don't know. Do you want to do business with them? Like, I'm more just confused as to why a water elemental would have attacked you over this. I don't know. Yeah. I just know what that story doesn't hold up. Nibble says he pokes at his chest. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. First of all, first of all, you're knee height to me. <laughs> I poke his stomach. What do you What do you mean? My story doesn't hold up. I. Water elementals don't attack just off off the rails. They defend themselves at most, so they usually don't kill. Well, these water elementals fucking attacked us because we were digging for treasure. Sounds like either it's some kind of weird mutated water elemental or you're full of shit. Actually... <laughs> are, the, are those um, full of shit? He points at the metal iron cog that Corbin hey, is. Hey, Nibble. Yeah? Do you see any other bodies? I don't. When you say that, when you say that, when you say that, Adler 
has a look of realization in his face and he ignores Nibble's prodding and shit. You step up to him, Rock, he ignores you. And he kind of has a lost look at his face. He's like, yeah, where? You keep trying to surround him, but he he's listfully looking away. Where? Can I try to trip him? Where? No. I, I, I am overriding you. Drama is happening. Okay. Uh, because where, where are my friend's bodies? That, hmm. they, they would be here, huh? What? And then he shakes his, their beans made of water. Maybe they sucked them into the swamp. I don't know. Are there any, like, dragging, any kind of, like, marks of, like, drags, any, any kind of swamp, there any signs of combat, even? <laughs> Give me a survival roll. Uh, I get a plus two. Ooh. Damn. With a 12. Now, this is a swamp, right? Mm hmm. So, a 12, even a 12 isn't going to give you an exact picture, but you can definitely find older tracks of multiple people having been here within the last few days or so right maybe a little longer well they were here for sure but yes because i'm not lying to you about anything look if if you doubt my word let's grab the shovels and get to digging and one of two things are gonna happen one will be attacked by water elementals and you guys can prove your worth or if we're lucky we won't get accosted it was just bad luck on my group's part and we'll all be a little bit richer without the hassle N nibble pulls the shovel from his backpack i'm watching you and he goes over and starts digging <laughs> diggy diggy hole <laughs> uh Rockmash is just gonna kind of take point somewhere and just have her bow ready and like, all right, I don't know what an arrow is gonna fucking do, but <laughs> Corbin, do you want to help dig? Uh, I could. Uh, he pulls out the his pickaxe from his bag <laughs> and hands it to Corbin. Uh, uh, one moment, please. Player loading. Oh no, that's that's okay. I have my own shovel. Shovel buddies! Shovel buddies! And they both start digging in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else getting in on the digging, or are you like, what are we doing? I'm watching outwards, because not enough people are watching outwards. Uh, Giot's taking this side, but doing similar. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move a little bit this way. Just be... <sighs> Rock, do you dig or do you take up like a defensive position? He takes up a defensive position. Uh, right where you are, or are you moving anywhere? No, no, like he's to uh, it'll be on this side since there's really no one over there. All right. Uh, can I uh take this chance to uh use burrow? To make this go faster. <laughs> um, sure. Okay, and I'm gonna use an additional point to give Corbin Burrow also. Oh, shuffle buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what would have taken? Uh, go ahead and cast the spell. See if you cast the spell first before I okay. narrate anything. Are you too angry? That's the right I'm question. I'm digging angrily. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, despite a minus two, a four does it. So both of you now have the ability to burrow. Uh, Corbin, uh, five. Corbin, you feel yourself full of an energy that lets you like meld into this muddy earth and push it aside at a whim. Because of that, what would have taken, uh, how long do they say this takes? What would have taken a few minutes, uh, you basically rip open the top part of this cache 
in like a second, you find 26 iron pods to start. Ooh. So I'll give Nana a second to note that. And let me know when you got noted, Nana. I do. And just as you guys are about to marvel at that. You're on the ruler. I know. Okay. Don't worry. I am worried. We're going to be attacked from swamp creatures. It came from the... Fuck. I lost it. It came from the Black Lagoon. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, all your defensive positioning is for not because out of the swamp itself. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Did I get all of them? Slices. Uh, yep. The- so out of the These swamp, like what- I'm sorry. they do not, they, so... They look watery and wet, but they... Well, actually, I don't know. Uh, Roll, before I reveal the picture, uh, roll uh, occult. Whoops, I did not mean to hit that button. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay, occult. I'll take a cult or arcana. I have neither of those. What about academics? Nope. Unskilled attempt? Yeah, I'll take an unskilled attempt. Let us go. No. I'm gonna binny that one more time. All right. Might as well. Like we're at we're at time. So like. Sadly, you're angry. Just knocked my fucking mic on my face. Hey, it still worked. (laughs) Jesus Christ! So many are fucking. (laughs) <laughs> Did someone just make it? Fuck, just chill. I want to use my Betty. I get to use Eddie all a night. <laughs> there, you made it. Grant us this boon. <laughs> um, so, are we good? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Rock, you've heard about these from stories in your travels, Corbin. Uh, you may have even encountered one and you're scavenging in jobs uh nibble uh you just know about these from your years of event from your adventuring time and as well as your uh your academic and a, your, your occult knowledge uh i think that was it right yeah, no else yeah yeah uh yeah. these are not water elementals although someone who is not in the know it, it maybe it's not unreasonable to mistake them for such, but these are called drowned spirits. Uh, that these is are the fucking water elementals, you ass. Uh, I don't, I don't know. He yells back in fear. Uh, dr- all right, so drowned spirits are very rare wraiths of those who drown. Something that is almost really? something that is almost unknown. <laughs> Something that is almost unknown in the Sundered Skies. The ghost uses the water that killed it to form a body of sorts. Drowned spirits are malevolent, vengeful creatures that attempt to drown their foes. And with all of you surrounded by a group of these vengeful spirits, we will call it a night. (laughs) (laughs) Yay! Yay! So, we didn't get Giot killed. <laughs> Despite our best efforts. <laughs> there was like no efforts. All right. Anyways. Exactly. Uh, no efforts. Questions, comments, concerns. Uh, God, I fucking question. love this verse. <laughs> hell yeah. We're going to have to beat a motherfucker with Nibble again. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Please, probably. <laughs> Nibble right is angry, so he'll probably claw at you if you attempt this time. Well, it's it's good that Leaf will be back for the next game, uh, hopefully, because uh, Giat has the anti-undead weapon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other things. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, I just hope these things aren't immune to fire. Nana, I know you did promotions last night, but it's a new stream and a new day. It's up to you if you want yeah. to, but... It's me. 
Um, tomorrow it's is me. Razor or not Razor's Edge. That's what I fucking work on. Sorry, wrong R E. Resident Evil is tomorrow Ooh. with Coco and Moon. R E four to be precise. RE4, yeah. We're playing the OG one, not the remake, because none of us have played it before, so we figured that'd be pretty fun. Haven't none wow. of you, wait, haven't none of you played, like, RE2 before? We've played... We've played... Because you Regular played... Resident Evil, RE2 remake, RE3 remake. Right, so... And I... Resident 4. Oh, that, okay, well, the logic is just weird to me, because it's like, like, you'd think you'd play, like... You know, you feel me? Like, you'd play the originals of the others... You would think, but also it depended on what I already owned. So oh, yeah, valid, valid, <laughs> super valid. Uh, ben, we've been promoting the same book this whole time, and you're more than welcome to promote it again. But if you got anything new on the horizon, you know, feel free to hit that as well. Uh, well, I I now have the physical copy of that book, and it and the physical copy will be available next month. Hey, so, that's awesome. Yes, yeah, y'all know about that. Uh, I did watch. Uh. Ben was on a, a podcast roundtable interview of the different authors yes. in the book, and I, I checked that out. It sounded really cool. Uh, would you, you, since we're talking about the book, you want to pop that name one more time? Uh, yes. In fact, it's right here. Mm. Uh, uh, no Happy Endings, a Grim Dark Anthology. Oh, yeah. Uh, and their story stars also rock, although to be clear, Yes. Uh, this is like, I guess you could say AU Rock, or the Rock of this game is AU Rock. Who knows? Chicken. Yes. For the yeah, eight. this game is AU Rock. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, you could see a different uh, version or adventure of Rock uh, dealing with whatever horribleness he's dealing with. Uh, it's it's I, a lot of horribleness. Yeah. I don't want to spoil. <laughs> I don't want to. Sp- I don't want to spoil the summary. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Core don't do shit. Rogue don't do shit. And Megs don't do shit. They just hang out and vibe. Unless I'm wrong. Yep. Any of you can tell me if I'm that- wrong now. All right. uh, Leaf would usually hit you with all kinds of shit. But unfortunately they are not with us. Uh, we missed you Leaf. Hopefully you'll be with us next time. So you can beat some undead ass. Uh, as yeah. for me. I will be streaming. If, if life doesn't like. Fucking destroy me again. Like it seems to do every Monday. Uh, I will restart up. The dot hack. Volume 4 playthrough I've been doing. Uh, Regardless whether I do or not, the following week, that is changing to Tuesdays. So, uh, this coming Monday is like the last Monday that I stream on Mondays for the foreseeable future, but I I just switch to Tuesdays. So, there you go. Uh, That's 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Excuse me, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Thursday is the same as usual. 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Me and Nanathotep running through Yakuza 7, we are nearing the end of the Great Pimp Wars, and will <laughs> return to the actual main plot of the game at some point, unless there's like a super hidden boss that Nana theorizes there may be for the Pimp Wars. What do you mean that's not the plot of the game? <laughs> Shh, it's not the plot of the game. We've only been playing this Porsche, this side quest for like months on end, but it's not the plot of the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, this game and the Pathfinder game are once a month uh, I think we already set up a date for this next one, right? For October. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do we remember off the top of the head what it was? Uh, I think the twenty uh, sixth. Twenty sixth. Yeah. So October twenty sixth is the next episode of this. It's it's rare that we have it on deck to go. So, uh, I got to Unless something happens. Yeah, unless something happens, because that's what happened last time we were supposed to play this. Uh, I got I was sicko sicko mode. All right, it's almost 10 minutes past nine, uh, so I'm not gonna waste anybody else's time. Everyone, thanks for stopping in. Sizzle, thanks for coming in. Leaf, uh, thanks for coming in to check out what's going on. Uh, I, I I hope you got the mental recoup you've needed. Um, And yeah, next time we'll see what happens uh, to the heroes as they try to get this hidden treasure. We'll see if they make it through this onslaught of horrible drowned ghosts <laughs> uh everyone have a wonderful night say bye-bye Good night bye see you